the horns are live. The horns are live. What 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 say you? Are you are you ready for these horns? Um, I don't know what the horns are for sure. I I wish I could describe them, but I can't. I am terrible at this. The horns are live, but what's good, everybody? How are you? It is Thursday, March 14th. It is pie day. I hope everyone had a nice slice of pie today. I did. I did not. It was apple. I baked it myself. <laughs> I didn't. I had no pie. I didn't even mess with my raspberry. Okay, where where are you going? <laughs> where are you going? Okay, where, where are you, what the, what? Uh, what now? The fuck was it? <laughs> I was adjust. I was adjusting my green screen, and then y'all made made deal of it, and I was like, oh, because so you were sticking doing? your head out. I thought you were doing that on purpose. <laughs> I was just adjusting my thing and then leaving back and you were like, Kev, what you doing? And I'm like, well, I you guess, look I like guess you were looking it at us. <laughs> like, hello? Hi. I'm here. I'm just making sure I'm making sure that I'm looking at my screen to make sure that my green screen is right. And you are like, why are you doing that? And I'm like, well, for I the guess, second week see? in a woe, in, in a woe, for the in second week in a row, <laughs> in a woe, in a woe. But yes, it is Tech Talk Thursdays, the week of March 14th, 2024. Dude, now you just look like Aphex Twin. You, have you ever seen his albums with his face just like weird ass smile and shit? <laughs> Anywho. I'm one of your hosts, Marks Major Linux. I'm just twitch.tv slash Major Linux. And of course, I'm joined this week and every week by Kevin Kev. It's your boy Kev in the building. In the building. Thing of guns. Pew, 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 pew. Of course, having yet to break his streak. I will be in a couple of weeks, but not this week. Oh, darn. Oh. It'd be a shame if something happened to this podcast while you were gone to <laughs> keep that streak alive. <laughs> like, that's an easy, that's an easy fix. <laughs> yes. Yeah, like, oh, yep, show's out. I don't know what happened. Food poisoning. Let's go with that. Uh, <laughs> we couldn't find the keys. Could not find the keys to my podcast. The wide web stopped working that day. Yep, I don't I know. I went to go I went to go swipe my key card and the key card just wasn't working. The, the Twitch uh. said declined when I went go live. I was like, what? H how? Face card was declined. Sinziak is in the building. Indeed. Greetings and salutations. And yes! I could say it's because of International Women's Month, but I won't. Because she's always here, whether she likes it or not. Yes. We have once again, after 12 years in the wilderness, <laughs> it's. I like how Mage is saying this, like, like we gonna be able to hear this. But okay. <laughs> See, couldn't hear it. <laughs> the goat. <laughs> The goat is here. The goat is here. The goat is indeed here. Mm -hmm. Making as, my as, arthritis and my um waist act up mm -hmm. because I'm doing some foolish. I'm I'm doing some foolishness. Made, made you left it all on the field for that. Amen. All, all also, day, every day, all the time. Also my guilty. Guilty. <laughs> Any <laughs> Osinaka is in the building. Not the Doppler effect in appearance. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I like how Major's gonna do this, even though we may or may not be able to hear it. And there you go. And it was like, yeah, we didn't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> You 
can't see it off over there because it's blurry, but there are boxes over there. And I was like, oh, shit, I'm about to run into all of these boxes. Yeah, all we seen was a with a whoosh, and then it was like, yep. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what was going on? Just so you know, I come up with those on the fly. That was not playing. <laughs> and my legs, my, my, my joints here are like, the fuck is wrong with you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was not planned. My joints were not ready. His joints were not ready. <laughs> they were not. Um, We already know what the fuck we, what was going on with us. Um, Anka, what you been up to? Where, where have you been? Um, A lot. <laughs> You've been know. to a lot? Uh, yeah, I've been to a lot. Um, where I don't even know where to start. Cause okay, cause like the end of twenty twenty three. Okay, I went to Dream Hat, but then at the very end of the like the last week of the year, I caught COVID. Not because of Dream Hat, but because of a Christmas party at my brother's house. And then, um, then there was that whole thing where my Xbox got stolen. And then yeah, which according to the po according to DC analysts, when I look at posts that have been written, there's one post in particular that's still in drafts. Yeah, it's done. I just need to upload it. I don't. I don't know why. So, how about we could take some time right now? We could take time right now. Just log into DC analysts. Live drop. Yep, just like right in the middle of the show, just a live drop. Article drop, yeah. yeah. I could once we get started. <laughs> but um uh, cause like I can't do it while y'all have your attention on me. Y'all need to move on to something real quick so I can hit this up. Don't perceive me. <laughs> Don't perceive me. <laughs> but yeah, no, Ruin, it got stolen. Um it was a whole thing. I actually did type there's like a there's supposed to be a three part series on DC Analyst. There's two parts up there right now, if you want to read it. Um, it's not terribly long. I tried to shorten it as much as possible. Um, but the third part is up there. But yeah, after that, and um, I've been doing a lot of stuff with uh, Blurred Unite. Um, I was officially um, onboarded onto their stream team uh, last, or la uh, December. So I've been doing some stuff with them and things like that. I've been in like two tournaments. I've been in a Street Fighter tournament. I got embarrassed. I didn't do well. But um, I've been in I've been in a Street Fighter tournament and then I was in a Fortnite tournament. I didn't do well. But you know, we were just, we were there. We were there. Um, and then, wow. what else? Um, Remember though, the first part of doing well is being there. So see, what? it is that. Also talk no. about the spelling day. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what? what I was thinking about. Spelling Bay. Yeah, oh that yeah. One. The thing you did oh, actually yeah. win. See, look at it. Just trying to be humble. But like, I'm gonna tell you all the things I didn't win and just fail to fa just neglect to tell anybody about the thing I did win and all the well, things see, that came with I it. I didn't win it though. I came in second place. I came in second place. We heard so you what won it. Happened? Huh? We heard you won it. I, I didn't win. I didn't win. No, Troll Troll won that. But I'll tell you what happened. So we, it was me, Troll Gaming Live, and K Dot the guy. We were all in third. We were first, second, and third. But Troll actually lost all of his like his house got flooded, so he lost everything. And the second place prize was a PC. And so um, he won first place, but that was like fifteen hundred dollars. Um, he switched. The prizes with me so he because i you know all i needed was a new graphics card so we swapped prizes and then i split the first prize with k dot because he was moving and he needed to find some funds to like finalize all his payments and stuff so you know everything everybody got benefited in the best way possible plus the people who didn't place they all got free tickets to DreamCon because troll covered it for them so yeah it all it was really nice it was a really nice thing that turned out um so, yeah, it was it was truly a blessing. So I'm, I'll be passing on Major's 1080 <laughs> once I can get the chance. Big chunks. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, been doing a lot of stuff with the the guild. Um, Kev is in there. I can't wait till y'all both get in there because it's soon come, soon come. 
I, okay. I mean, uh, finally, somewhere, somebody provided a Google Doc that I was able to f- fill out and, and, and shit. So oh, hopefully. Yes, like, yes as, soon, as soon as it popped up, because they did say that during the meeting that we were like, when they were. When they would pop back up again, they would be like, we're going to drop the Google Doc and, you know, spread it out to everybody. And as soon as I seen it, I was like, Pew! I was like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So, so, but yeah, I mean, How do I there's probably a lot more stuff. This damn thing? But I can't really remember everything. I, I told myself I was supposed to write it down. Oh, I'm studying for a project management certification. Um, Come on, well, PMP. You know, trying, trying. But yeah, somebody's at the door. Who's at the door? Take your cosplay katana and beat them up with it. They keep ringing the bell. Hold on. Oh. Not the nigga knocking with a doorbell. Oh, it's my dad. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh, it's fine. Okay. That's a lot. That's a lot for a door handle. That's why I have no doors here. <laughs> There's no doors. Mm-hmm. Which is unfortunate because if I want to block light, I can't. Say you can't have no doors to slam if you ain't got no doors. That's what I do not like. Again, I love having a whole floor to myself, but at the same time, like there's no doors to this room. There's a door to my office, there's a door to the bathroom, and there's a door to like the closets that are here. But there's no door to this room. It's just room. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. Maybe like a soundproof piece of fabric. Think about them blackout curtains. That's what I really want. That would that would that would damp that would dampen noise. Well, it's not the noise; about. it's the light I want to get rid of, or actually yeah. to actually use the door's original purpose to keep people the fuck out. <laughs> actually, what I want to do is I want to put a door at the base of like at the at the at the at the stairs. Mm-hmm. Like you can like I'm not sure if you can see through the through the through the bokeh or whatever. Like, <sighs> let's see, video broadcast. Can I, can I turn off the, the thing? I turn off the back background blur. Okay, so yeah, the banister right here, like there's nothing there. So it's like ha- like a half wall. What I want to do is put a door at the end of the banister where the sto- where the stairs are, and just have a door there. Mm-hmm. No wall. Like you can still look in, but you can't come through the door. <laughs> <laughs> just to have a door there. Time to take. Time to take some estimates. Just build a door and just have it there. See, I'd Time. be on some foolishness because the way I'd be yelling over the counter, why the, Why you put a door right here? Oh, don't worry. That's the question. That's the question Morphe's going to ask when I tell her that's what I'm going to do. Why you put a door there? Don't worry about that. I yeah, got the money. I got, I I'm got, paying for it. <laughs> it's about door. Yeah, I got, some, I got some people. I got some people. I'm getting some quotes. <laughs> it's about door. <laughs> Let me get some. Let me get some estimates. They're gonna have some some fellas coming around with some estimates. They're gonna let me know. <laughs> Ruin. She wouldn't have to ask. She could see. I don't care. She sees what I'm doing. She just can't come in here to bother me. Actually, no, because that that's me causing division. And I actually want my wife in here, so I'm not gonna put the door up. Mm-hmm. There's nobody I want to really keep out. I would like for my son to come up and well, he's not playing video games like he used to. He's turning into one of those kids who watch people play video games. Um, and I mean, I was cool with that initially, but then when he played less and less video games, it just kind of. <sighs> yeah, Munchkin's doing that too, because it's like. Okay. And it's never black people. I know I say dude a lot, but my God, this dude. He's going to be like, dude! Like, all right. Uh, I need to find a new word. Yeah, it's just it, it's 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 those that are like like resonate well with the youth, and so a lot of them resonate with the youth. I see some of the videos too because I'm like, it's very like expressive and chipper and cheery. Yeah, it, but then it's also like, odd, you know. Yeah, 
And like, I'm like, that's so not, happy. it's not for us. It's for them. And, and it's like, I mean, yeah. it, to be fair, like, like I, I speak of my five month old Plex server, right? Where all my videos mm -hmm. are five months old, but it's still like me watching other people play games. Granted, I am also playing games or working. But yes, the people that are in the in the videos I'm watching are not that chipper. It's like, and I thought about that the other day. I said, damn, this is like, we are doing the same thing. But yeah, the people I'm watching are like, definitely like, yeah, we're gonna go over there and build that thing. Yeah, that's right. Come on, join us in Roblox. Yeah, dude. Like, yeah, I I turn yeah, that I, off I, in a heartbeat. If I, if yeah, that, I, like, that uh, I like I like this channel called Stumped because they do a lot of co co op and community games and. The guy, the guy's like, hey, everybody, welcome to Stump. This is it. Was Ash Rice and Jasmine, and I'm like, hello. <laughs> we're we're here, we're here with Enterprise and Jasmine, and it's like, oh okay. <laughs> so this is gonna they're pretty, they're pretty cool people. I'm gonna collaborate with one of those folks. It's like, hi, we're interested to build things in Minecraft. We're with Major Lens. Yo, what's up, y'all? How, how y'all doing? <laughs> oh, what's good, yeah. Yeah, what's up? How you doing? Yeah. Anywho, <laughs> Anka, how, how how is your how, what what is your stream personality like? What do you mean? Like, are you the super happy, cheerful Roblox streamer type person, or are you like just down to earth, you know, realistic? Like, you know, shit's hard. The struggle is real. Um, Anka is very. I will beat you with a baguette. As a streamer personality, I will beat you with a baguette. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And exactly. I will follow. And I will follow up with a donut. Exactly. Yep. Tbh. Yep. Yeah. Couldn't, couldn't have said it better myself. Mm -hmm. Mine would be. Mm -hmm. I'm going to eat the baguette and follow it up with a donut. Mine is. Not mine if you is. get knocked out first. <laughs> yep. Mine is. I exerted mine, energy. <laughs> mine <laughs> is like minutes of absolutely quiet. Followed by loud, like mid to loud cursing, which is like, fuck. <laughs> and yeah. back to quiet again. <laughs> yeah. You know, we need to normalize quiet fucking and streaming. Break breaks, yeah. <laughs> break breaks, breaks. Yeah. <laughs> we need to normalize quiet streaming. I am tired of. The, the these folks on Twitch say if you're if you're not talking to your stream that you're not really you're not a good streamer. No, shut the That's fuck up. Shut the That's fuck up. I want to sit in silence. We're all sitting in silence. Damn it. Exactly. And you know what? And I think like, that depends on the time of day because I know that early morning people and late night people really appreciate that. They're just like just do the game and pretend oh no. I am not here. I don't want to be perceived. No, I'm just no, trying to have a coffee. Not not. not time of day no i'm talking about as a twitch personality i should be able to become twitch partner by not saying a damn thing on stream by choosing I mean, not to say a damn thing on stream i feel like okay like major that's something i would like to actually see you set out to do and do it to be like the here this is we don't talk about streaming. No, no, no. That's the whole title. And you just leave it that title exactly until they partner you because you don't talk. Don't you? <laughs> Do it. Go I'm cheering you on. I'm here for you. This, this is the shit that gets me in trouble. <laughs> People have become partners but see, for less. No, it, but what you do on OBS is you mute yourself. So it's a, you can yell at the game if you want to, but no one can hear you say anything. Oh, no, no. Okay, so let me clarify. What I, what I want to do is normalize how I stream American Truck Simulator. Where that, like, that's the game where it's like, all right, look, I am going through some shit right now. I want to process some shit. That's why I am driving my truck. If you show up, we talk. If not, look, it's just going to be silent. If I don't have shit to say, I just don't have shit to say. We'll do that. I mean, honestly, Major, when I'm working on my cosplay, I'm a silent worker. I don't talk. And I tell people I'm not talking, not because I don't want to talk, but I just work in silence. So mm -hmm. And I pre and I appreciate yeah, I that because I pull up on uh Uncle Stream all the time and I'm like, oh Uncle Unc Unc Quiet Bet. And I just watch Uncle Process. So don't mind when I'm pulling up on Uncle Streams is when she's doing the um Pomodoro timer and she just is choosing not to talk because she's working. <laughs> and then I just type shit into the chat to see what I can do. Cause I Shout am that asshole. Oh, Tried to figure out how to get her um her to do list to work. <laughs> Ended up breaking it. 
crying. <laughs> yeah, it, it didn't work. You ended up messing it up. Anyways, but yeah, um, I remember when Sam first told me about that tool years ago in my meager box apartment. <laughs> so I, I remember that. I, I tried I, to I use it recently that. and then I realized that I was breaking those rules because uh, when I set up rules, I set out to break them too. Mm. That Pomodoro well, timer did not last for like a month and a half. That's crazy. It's helped me a lot since then, so I appreciate it. Happy to be of service, but major. What I do? Mm -mm. Mm. Not major with the PDA. Crying. Sunny! Wait, PDA? Mm hmm. What are you talking about? Demand avoidance. Oh, that one, that one. <laughs> you you would think that would have been the one that's on top of mind, but no, for some reason it went to public displays of affection or no, first, no, the, first, the, the first thing that the came up to me, yes, thank you. The first one that came to mind was the handheld, the pop pilot. <laughs> then it was public like displays black... of affection. <laughs> he was like, blackberries? <laughs> Romance? It's not February, what you talking about? Oh, oh, that, oh, 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 okay. Yeah. Yeah, P yeah, the PDA that, you know, is definitely most associated with me was not the one that's top of mind. Okay. Yo, Sunny the Days, yo, thank you for the follow. What's going Sunny on? Sunny is actually um one of the leaders of the stream team from Blurgy Night. So hey. Hey, hey, love to hear it. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, ladies. Wow, I can actually see ladies for the first time in like 20 years. Um, which is a sad indictment on the stream and good you know, people the of the int good people of the internet yes good people of the internet so we can be all inclusive and i don't have to feel as bad even though i will still feel bad given what month it is uh <laughs> you ready to talk some gaming and some gaming and some tech news yeah some streaming news we got some of that too tech and gaming news has been in bed embarrassing at least the ones that i've run into i'm pretty sure y'all have good news in these show notes somewhere i mean yeah one one really good one but everything else is it's like one and a half good news uh but let's start off with sin's news he sends me a picture on twitter where oh uh, i have i have i have updated that link so oh. that this comes with sounds and things so you can see the clip from x spaces um x spaces where um a a user by the name of mysterious cat was part of um an x space in which um elon just in which elon but in which elon appears and they ask some questions because apparently there are whispers, rumors, and a bit of confirmation about Elon that there is going to be some partnership at, of some kind between um, Twitter and Midjourney, which is an AI art gener is a like a text prompt based AI art generating platform, like Stable Diffusion. But Midjourney, I think, works in Discord. I think that's how you you that's how you interface with that one. That's um, is it? In the, I believe so. That's yeah. where I found it. Um, and really sure it's just it. like, okay. um, yep, yep. It works with um, it works with Discord. All right, so I'm gonna as a mid journey bot. Stop. So, you know, here's the thing, right? Once again, why are we speed running reasons for people to like light the platform on fire? Because you're going to, because now in addition to everything else, you're just like, you know, for a platform which is heavily reliant on text, we're going to join our forces with uh, text-based image generator. Which means that people are probably gonna have to, because that means we're gonna have to figure out what setting to turn off eventually to be like, don't use my tweets for this bullshit. You know that won't exist. 
Listen, I'm trying to pick a page out of your book and say, <laughs> let's not imagine the worst possible <laughs> scenario. Maybe there's a good so thing the, so, so the one platform you do that on is Twitter? <laughs> Mid-journey, clearly. But Twitter. God. But Remember, Twitter, the, but here's the thing. When you said this to me, it was about Twitter. <laughs> anyway, um, Twitter. but yeah, um, um, fuckery abounds. Why is this happening? What is the reason? So Elon, here. no one's trying to author like uh, no one's trying to author autistic autistic content up here. Like no one's here to be like creative things or to be like, hey, I need like images for a magic card off of Twitter of all places. All right, let's see if I can get this audio to work. Um, there I don't even are. know what Mid Journey um, is. Mid Journey. Nice is to be speaking with you. Uh, Mid Journey is an, um, is an AI bot you. that takes. Like a t it's like ChatGPT, but instead of it giving you a paragraph of words uh, back based on your prompt, it gives you back art, or it tries to like create a rendering of the thing that you're asking for uh, with using AI with, co with basically images stolen from other people's art that have been fed to it. So it's just bad times, and people have been raging at it since day seven. And I say day seven because on day one all of the people who were in those industries and plus the black people and disabled people were just like, this is bad news and no one wanted to listen for like at least two weeks. Mm. And then the layoffs started happening. So, mm -hmm. I mean, as one does. Mm -hmm. Helpful to content creators like articles, which I'm very excited about. I'm wondering if you and, you know, X overall have thought about kind of developing um, and of course, if you're listening to this minute long, like minute or so long clip that Major AI is having y'all listen to, you will notice or that as per the usual, this I'm person not with struggles open AI, but maybe to form like a simple coherent sentence that can be followed from artists, one end to the other that without several AI twists and turns. Enhance their content. The, and when you arrive at the end, it makes no sense, but they are passing around the collection plate. Um, we are in so if you stuff. needed another reason to set the platform on fire, here we are. All right, so here's Elon speaking. Just with my journey, and, and something may come with that. Uh, but either way, one way or another, we will enable AI art generation on the X platform. Yeah, in, in one way or another, we're going to enable AI art generation on the X platform because tech bros will tech bro. On the what's Xbox, what's... on the X platform. Oh. Remember, Twitter is oh. X now. Oh. Yeah. Oh, but don't worry. Your precious Microsoft also is going in on AI. Oh, I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> no, nobody is spared. Yeah. Nobody is the, spared. It's just like the the foolery of the, of it. It is. I'm trying to figure out why they're speed running the two main platforms that people use for news and information. And that's basic. Well, I mean, I guess it's one of those. It was Twitter and TikTok and Instagram. So that's what's happening over here. Wait till programmers meet our new friend, Devin. Oh, God. Wait, who's Devin? That sounds familiar. Why have I heard oh, the name hell. Devin before? So yeah, I saw that and thought I would bring slide to all that bit of news. So if you are still on that platform, as I currently am in the middle of deep contemplation about whether I want to be in social media at all, here you are. This Thanks. is, depending depending on how you're feeling, this may be your exit sign. Okay, okay. I just want to make an, a, a, a statement here. For those would you like who to make are, a statement? Yes, yes. I'm going to make a statement, please. Do you need the, would you like to have the floor? No, nah, I, 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 I should hope I have it. Okay, you know um, something here. The thank floor. you. The floor thank is you. yours. Um, for those who are saying, I don't know, because Twitter is doing so many things, I don't know if I want to be on social media anymore. Please look at the last five months alone. Mm -hmm. And look at yep. what your mainstream media, the people you thought were feeding you the good shit, were actually mm -hmm. feeding you compared to mm -hmm. what was actually happening. Mm -hmm. when I hear and, th and it goes back to what we were talking about before about like not being in certain circles on social media to where I don't see half the bad shit that people see so it's like I consider I, I will seriously say like I don't see a lot of it I don't know why people think social media is this bad it may be because the way I'm curating things because I only follow certain people I don't doom scroll as much as other people I don't know 
but I've only seen social networking and social media as sources of information to get from people. I learn about things through social media mm. to where when people are like, I'm going to quit social media. I'm like, but why? Because I get news faster through like at the time, like it was, I get news faster through Twitter than I would through an IGN or a game spot or some shit like that. I'm able to sit there and talk to multiple people and get a better understanding of what's going on on social media than I would if I went to CNN or MSNBC or God forbid Fox. Mm -hmm. Yes. And given what's been happening now, how so many people have looked and seen what's been happening in um, Gaza and in Palestine and have learned that, oh shit, this has been going on for 75 years. Yes. Ain't nobody at CNN, ABC, CBC, NBC, MSNBC, Fox News, Max, OAN, whoever the fuck the Young Turks possibly. I don't even know because I stopped watching their bullshit too because they say they are left. They are left. They are left of Democrat. But boy, they be sometimes sucking on some Democrat dick too. Um, you um, sitting watching those folks. They don't tell you the complete story. You get more like I've been getting more factual information coming from social media because of the fact that people who are academics in the space are speaking out. The people yeah. who are not being platformed by the, you know, the powers that be. So, yeah, it, my, that's my whole soapboxing of. Hey, before you say you are going to quit social media, and this is not directed at anyone in particular. I know Sid just said it, but it just reminded me of a thing. Um, I do want to ask a question about that. Yes. Is this a statement that we're making or is this a question you would like to ask? Oh, no, it's a statement. It's a, hey, if you are planning on quitting social media, think about the past five months before you do. Because you're cutting out a lifeline. You are cutting out a lifeline to truly actual factual information because it's being suppressed elsewhere. You think you, you, you thought TikTok was suppressing some shit. Look at what NBC was doing. Look at what ABC, look what CBS, look what CNN was doing over the past uh -huh. five months. They've been running cover for 75 fucking years or however long those news sites exist. Those news stations existed. The only thing that I can say there would be if everybody were on social media purely to just be like i am here to see things and know things and learn things then sure that would be a fair assessment to make that is one not necessarily a thing that everyone is there for but two definitely in my case it is a let me at the very least step like take a couple of steps back and look at this is all of the social media I have. This is all the stuff that I am consuming. Now, with that, with that there and those connections and that information, let's figure out, is this still a thing that works? Do I need to take a break? Do I need to reconfigure it? Do I need to recurate it? Or do I need to step away from it all together and that is a whole spectrum of things that people have a whole spectrum of reasons to do so some of that is just a hey um this is overwhelming i'm going to peace out and i will see y'all back at the end of the summer and, and that is a thing that and that is a thing that and that is a thing that regardless of the stuff that you're there for social media for is probably good to do from time to time not necessarily for like a whole three months or something like that but every now and then just being like hey um there's enough social media going on and i'm pretty sure all of this stuff will be here well most of it will be here mm. depending on like how voting goes in the in the senate when i get back or or depending on what genocidal maniacs decide to do yeah some well, things yeah, may know. not be there when you come back some things may not be there when I come back, but if that's the case, they're not going to be there even if I stayed to watch it to the very end. So mm -hmm. that's true. And so like there's a there is that. And I think it's important. And the reason why I'm like, I want to bring this up as a very important conversation when it deals with, con with when it deals with channels of 
constant and i do mean constant every hour on the hour second by the second if you're on here there will be new information to read that will somehow point to one thing or another there is a point at which you need to go for my own sake is the am i cool here with absorbing this amount of information or do i need to take a breather because the amount of times hi being very personal for a second the amount of times that i've had to walk into a work meeting and they're just like are you good and i'm just like you know i'm just kind of sipping some coffee and absorbing the fact that tanks have rolled up and bullets have been fired at people who just showed up for flour to make bread and i am expected at some point during today to write emails and fill in spreadsheets and do reports like this stuff isn't like I'm like no one's aware of this right mm -hmm. like that is a like that is a thing that this is a way that I am expected to function and it's a right okay I need to also remember that I have that people that I care about and love exist and that I need to spend time with them um and all of that stuff because, you know, I have to at least stay, you know, somewhat stable for the sake of my cat and for no one else. So there's that, right? Um, remembering to give yourself breathing space from things and also just being mindful of how you're connected to the internet in the first place, because there's a lot of stuff to get into and not all of it's great. What's yeah. in that? So, so it's not like, hey, I want to quit the internet to be dramatic, but there's always been for me, since being on the internet, a things on the internet, there's a lot of great and terrible things on the internet and you constantly need to do check-ins with yourself to be like, should I be here? Or should I, should I be here doing what I'm doing or should I be doing it differently? Is this a good thing? Is this messing up my sense of- And, and also life? allow yourself the ability to take breaks and say you know what that's enough that's enough illinet for the day like oh, oh yeah for the day yeah it's not yeah. like i'm watching it all the time mm -hmm. but like it's like things like that like just being like is this messing with my ability to like connect with people in my my waking world or in other places how what does that look like that type of thing so is it one of those am i looking at like hey some like but on the real like some days i'm just like Child, even if it were just nothing but pure information about things that are happening in the world, considering the things that are happening in the world, if I wanted to be like, I would like to take my whole computer and throw it out the window for a second, I feel like this is relatable <laughs> to a certain extent. Cause you were just like, I am thinking thing, I am thinking about having to make very serious decisions that at some point, depending on the decisions that I make, I might not be able to walk back. And that is a very heavy thing to carry all the time and not have people to talk to about it. So there's that. I feel like I've crossed enough of those now where it's like, yeah, I'm, fuck it, I'm at a point of no return at this point. Um, I think it was like a video that I think I shared at one point and I think you had came back around and shared um, at another point on, like I think I shared it on TikTok, you shared it on Instagram where the dude was saying like death is now an option. I think when I shared it, I didn't get it. But when you shared it, I got it. And I was like, oh, oh, that's what. Yep. Okay. I'm, I'm with mm -hmm. you now. I'm with you now. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Cause I, I've been there. I've, I've been exactly at that point. It's a look. Cause I'm like, put me on a plane. Give me a gun. Let's go. <laughs> Let's fucking mm. go. Like, damn, death was an option. This still is an option. Every time I go to a protest, I really think about that. Damn, death is an option. Mm -hmm. For for legal purposes, we just need to make it clear. Like this person is not oh, letting on yeah. being a harm to people. It is a immediate area or anything. Yeah, like that no, not what not... that is. Not no. I'm sorry. So let's let's yeah, let's back that up. Basically, what the video was saying was that it's now at a point where people were sitting there saying like, "Hey, you have a choice between two bad options." People are now looking at no, no, there are more including doing something so rash that it could end up in costing somebody's life. They're willing to do the direct actions in that could cost us, that could cost them the lives like, um, um, Aaron and Bushnell like, self emulating. Um, and again, like it's sad because again, they really buried the shit out of her. The um, woman who um, self emulated in, um, in Atlanta. Like 
and that's what kind of the article was. Yeah. It's just like people have gotten to a point in their, like have gotten to a point where they're just like, there is like what is happening in the world and me being like something has got to give. And if that means I am literally going to light myself on fire with a but with but one line left on the voicemail to make that happen, then I guess that's what is going to have to be because we can't keep doing whatever this is. Yeah. Yeah, so, sorry, things, yeah, sorry if that was not oh, no. clear before. No, that's fine. But when you have messages, like, when you're sitting here and you're processing things like that, and then they're just like, right, so we're going to have our team meeting for, like, quarterly goals. You're just like, it's 2 p.m., and I know it's 2 p.m. I am going to take a nap. And if I don't wake up for two days, I just don't wake up for two days. Like, that's it. That's what's happening. <laughs> so... So breaks are so breaks are important. Yeah. Um, but Some of us breaks are important. But to be but to be clear, mm -hmm. there's a difference between me needing to take a break and the things that people have told me where I'm just like, this is literally impossible. I don't know how you said this to me, which was I don't watch the news because like I can't like I couldn't possibly deal with like having to be aware of and know that all the time. And I'm like, on the one hand. I feel you on the other hand, me not knowing is dangerous. You not knowing is just it like you not knowing might be inconvenient. Me not knowing is dangerous. Yeah, I feel like it was I feel like it's an age thing in a way. Cause I will say like, look, Anka's age, I probably did not care as much. But after oh, like after a certain point, like things like, oh wait, you know, I should probably pay attention to these things. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna say it like this. Some of it is age, but from what I've experienced, a lot of it is the color gradient. Oh, yeah. There's that, too. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But um, as someone wise once said to us last week, we do have other tech <laughs> articles that people are here for. So we're going to go ahead and get into a message from the FCC brought to you by Major. It was wise by the calf. Mm-hmm. Cause it's like I know I know what it's like to get lost in sauce, and I'm like, we do have to remember why we the 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 mission of statecraft, i.e., tech podcast. And Fine. yeah, I know tech is political, but Fine. sometimes we can get lost in the minutia of Fine. feelings and emotions. And sometimes people are like, I thought we were gonna talk about you, Sue. We did. Fine. Why? I guess we'll yeah. talk about the FCC then. Yeah. Indeed. And how. They've updated their definitions for broadband, which is 100 megabits per second now. Ah! Ah, you know the vibes. Ah. <laughs> you can use the entirety of an old school switch now. And also, and also, don't you know? Don't be, don't be afraid to just make you know broadband uh, a, a utility again. You know, you can, you can run that back, right? Right? You can run that back. I feel like it's too late for that because they took forever to um, confirm that. Um, the FCC chair. Right. Again, vote new, vote blue, no matter who. Why? <laughs> like no, nobody, oh. nobody talks about broadband as a utility anymore. Nobody gives a shit about that. But that was a thing that we had and we no longer have. Yeah. The fucking agit pie. Mm -hmm. and the wrong big, and pie big ass to talk about on pie day and his big ass and his big ass Reese's pieces mug. Oh my god! Can we just that man? Can we just square up with that man, please? And then we find, and like I say, like the day we find out that that man was like a whole ass like lot uh like broadband cable lobbyist worked for worked for Comcast, and I was like, of course he does. <laughs> Of course he does. We're not going to get a fair shake and nothing. <laughs> so, Anywho, yeah. today, yeah. today, the FCC said, um, hey, we want to update some rules. We, we've done a survey. We've done a little study. And we've seen that, you know, broadband is rolling out as fast as um we would like for it to do. <laughs> My ISPs. Um... So what we're going to do is we're going to say that, hey, broadband is not going to be classified at 100 megabits per second um, down and 25 up, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, where'd it go? 20 megabits per second up. Um, 
which now means that anybody that is brought that is um advertising broadband speeds at less than that can't technically call it broadband anymore now will this mean that um isps will increase their speeds I, I, I will i will i will ask my panelists here what do you think now that broadband definition has been bought up to 100 up or 100 down 20 down, 20 up do you think isps are going to um increase their speeds do i think they are going to increase their speeds so to, to still call it broadband i don't think so not for not without a price, of course. Price, Only, I mean, they'll, they'll charge whatever, but like to say, like this is technically broadband, the lowest no. bottom of the barrel, 100, 100 up, 20. I mean, 100 down, 20 up. This is broadband. Do you think that ISPs will bump up their lowest spec to say this is broadband? Not for a while. Mm -mm. Eventually, but not for a while. Mm -mm. No, because that's that's money out of their pocket. I intend to. I, I I'm inclined to agree, and I wrote as much in the article where we're going to hear new buzzwords. And actually, I don't even think um, we'll hear new ones. We'll probably hear high speed internet. It won't say broadband. It's be high speed. No, at least that's one government agency that's raised something in the last 15 years. Wow. Well, hey, look, look, look. We can't take shots at our favorite um, government agency, the National um, Labor Relations Board. They going through something right now. Everybody trying to sue them for being unconstitutional. Ugh. But yeah, you, I mean, you do have a point, though. <laughs> <laughs> you do have a point. You um, know. Sorry, Kev. But back to protest news. Yes. Google engineer fired for speaking out against Project Nimbus. I'm not sure if y'all have seen the viral video that's been going around of a Google engineer who stood up at a tech conference and spoke out against uh, Project Nimbus at a... Um, and an individual who worked for Google Israel mm -hmm. and oh, was promptly one. carried out of the building. Mm -hmm. Come to find out a couple of days later, Google let him go. Mm -hmm. um, for those who do not know, Project Nimbus is a cloud is a cloud computing project between the Israeli government and military. Google Cloud, um, Google Cloud Platform, and Amazon Web Services. Now, you would think that, hey, cloud platforms, uh, companies like Google and Amazon, they work with governments and militaries. I mean, shit. Google worked with ours for Project Maven, which they then stopped because of protest. But the, mili the U.S. military still uses it anyway. We covered that last week. I'm going to tell you something really fucking nefarious about Project Nimbus, though. Only the Israeli government will put a clause in the contract that says you cannot stop working for us because of boycott pressure. That's in the fucking contract. How are you going to stop me from quitting? <laughs> <laughs> no, they said like GCP or AWS cannot they like they, Google and Amazon cannot pull out of the deal because of that. They can't be like, eh, I don't like, I don't like yeah, this. Like the, the optics like ain't this. looking good. They telling us we gotta stop. So we out Google and Amazon cannot do that. Yeah. They signed the contract. They signed the fucking contract, which is wild to me because why wouldn't you? Or, I mean, you. Or, or, I mean, you're or, Google or. or Maybe like as a means of protest or something, you know, maybe Google just disables a feature for the military because reasons. S3 storage stops working to store missile coordinates. They can't do that either. They can't, they cannot. 
selectively disable products for reasons. TM. A we- That's a Amazon weird. and Google signed the fucking contract. Now that is wild. Somebody's life got threatened. There's no a way they government that said existed. a government told a company, two companies. Yo, no matter how bad this shit gets, you here, baby, for life. Oh some, yeah, somebody, some, somebody's lives got threatened for sure. Some, somebody, somebody got incriminating pictures. Mm-hmm. Somebody, somebody got some dirt on somebody. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That is the <laughs> fucking deal they saw. So somebody, somebody got, somebody got a deal on Daddy Bezos and was like. Somebody said, I know where all your family is at any given moment. Which, mm-hmm. and the thing is, like, with that, with this, knowing this, it makes everybody protesting Project Nimbus. Like, I look at them and say, y'all are fighting a losing battle. There is no fucking way. Mm-hmm. Like, that's in the, like, to see that that is in the contract that they signed from a government is like, yo, you know, we may be into questionable shit, and because of that, you have to sign this document saying you gonna be here ride or die. Mm-hmm. Somebody, Can't stop, won't stop. Somebody signed the contracts. Mm-hmm. The money was that fucking good to them. They said, we don't care what you do with our shit. I think one point it that's one point two billion dollars. Compared to what the US is sending to Israel, that's fucking chump change. You signed your souls away for pennies on the dollar. Y'all are tr- almost like trillion dollar companies. Mm-hmm. One point two wait, billion. Wait, 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 wait. So I'm looking at the article. How is it violating a policy to interrupt somebody while they're speaking at an event? How is that corporate policy? Remember, they signed a contract for $1.2 billion that they can't get out of because they just don't like the optics. Mm-hmm. So here's the thing, right, Aka, the thing that I am sad to report here, because that look that you were surfing over here, you know those HR and employee handbook policies that occasionally insert a random vague rule about conduct, decorum, professionalism, that stuff? We're here. We're in that section of hell at this point. That's where there's there's that happening. So these people have like carte blanche to just go, hey, anything else that we want to kind of get you in trouble for when you have like a very reasonable reaction to some bullshit goes in that box right there. So yeah, let's let's get to that part. Wow. Um, so yes, this was at a tech conference last week that is being run by... Um, Mind the Tech, which is an Israeli tech consortium of people. And the, 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 the theme of this conference was stand with Israeli tech. Mm. I bet you the NSO group was in attendance. Mm-hmm. It's just so crazy how everybody is drinking the Kool-Aid. Mm-hmm. There are allies, everybody. Anka. There are allies. They're terrible allies. Cause that's not like... the point, Kev. They're allies. <laughs> because it's like y'all. It's like it's like you. It's like your best friend, but it's like your best friend stay with you, but your best friend is a terrible house guest. Right. And it's like and it's like doing all the things. You can't you can't kick me out. I'm gonna kick you out. And I'm like, how does that even work? I'm bigger like, than my you. house. I'm stronger than you. <laughs> I gave you the slippers. I gave you the robe. What are you talking about? How are you going how you going to jump bad at me? And I'm and I get and I gave and I gave you the sandwich. 
I gave you the key. I could change I the lock if I, I want to. I could change the lock if I want to. But I Ain't won't that? because, but I won't because you my ally. Mm -hmm. No matter how many of my friends keep telling me this is a bad deal, we should not be doing this. We can end this if we just take the keys away. But I keep letting them in my house. Because we stand by the allies and they have a right to continuously throw my toaster oven against my refrigerator. Mm -hmm. And they paying me well. Which in turn, the money goes back. It's a nice return on investment. Mm. Wait. Oh, no. I think it's broken still. But Kev. Yeah. Hit it for me. Capitalism. Thank you. <laughs> There we go. Um. So yeah, the um, engineer stands up at this event. Um, it was a yeah, do working for Google Israel, talking about Project Nimbus at this event, and um, he screams like, "Hey, we, I, I, I am a Google Cloud engineer. Y'all need to know, like, look, what if y'all working on the cloud is going to this? It's not great. They are killing people in Palestine with this technology." But he gets carried out. Now, this individual does not give a name at all. I do not know who this person is. The person who, the, the, the freelance journalist who reported on this guy does not know what his name is. He refused to give it because of the fact that he was afraid of retaliation. Which, you know, part of me feels like, you know, that that's a lawsuit, but you know, I'm not a lawyer. Um, but yeah, I mean, Google I'm, found I mean, out I anyway. This is where I just want to remind people that over the last year, we have seen people being immediately fired for positions of really high tenure behind saying things. I mean, or, said. you know, so, when they speak I mean, out just, against the company, you know, like when a whole team of people decides to unionize and when going to talk to their city council, they find out that they all got fired. And we're certainly not going to talk about the people who got um, there are some people who got fired and apparently if, you know, depending on um, the company that you work for, people got fired at. Mm -hmm. I can look on her face like, excuse me? Mm-hmm. Anka, this is what the show has become now. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's really sad. Mm -hmm. But here's somebody has We're to talking... talk about these things, though. Well, and that's here's the, the problem. We're... We're talking about tech, but we could easily be talking about true crime. And the fact that we're in well, both of those podcast genres is a real sad thing. Mm -hmm. well, it's, like we, well, it's, we, all it's, it's all connected. I mean, yeah. there's no avoidance. Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. See, and this is why Alka's the GOAT. Hire her for all the things. <laughs> please. Mm -hmm. And please make sure that you bring a high quality camera when you do, because you will probably come dressed as Jack. Mm -hmm. And will better be better hope the gun don't actually work. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> for legal purposes, of course. Oh for God. legal purposes, of course. Special for effects. Le for, for legal purposes, though. Just Special for effects. Oh no, I was I was watching something. They were talking about Sakura one day. Homegirl crazy. <laughs> you. Do you not know about Sakura? Like, what was it, Street Fighter Five? I know a little bit. I don't know a lot, but I know a little bit. She wanted to have right you dated. She wanted to get knocked up. <laughs> that is the person like, that she in, in high school. Not in Street um, Fighter Five. She's not. <laughs> nah. Oh. But still, Ryu has to be like, what, 20, 30 years older than her? That's what I'm saying. That's nasty. Anywho. Yeah. Google ain't out here looking great today or ever. I this mean, is, Google ain't never looked good. But this is not true. But this is no, just fucking. This American eat. Corporation looks good right now. No. <laughs> With, not, keep in mind, with the full statement, don't be evil. That, nope, nope, that. nope, 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 nope. They took that out. That's been gone. That's been gone That's for a long the crazy time. Part. That's the crazy part of this whole article. They know they doing some messed up stuff. Cause how you gonna remove something like that? Oh, that's been gone that's... for years. Oh, that's been gone for years. 
years? That's been going for oh, years. It's been going for yeah. a minute. Google is probably the center but, circle of hell. At this but yeah, point. like they they moved it so that I mean because yeah, almost around the time when they moved it, they started moving into some evil shit. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, do yeah, versus do evil, do crimes get paid? Mm-hmm. Like it's we like, might want to make this out because we uh we sold our soul. <laughs> it's, it's that it's that it's that it's that thing in the in the in the video that I used to watch from a guy named Oversimplified, and he was learning how to like he's being taught like be mean don't be mean like say you know you know treat you know do good thing do not violate widows and 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 loathe gluttony and then he had an accident and then his teacher was like be mean do gluttony violate widows and so now it's like <laughs> it's not it's not that level of like yep <laughs> what, what so what accident did google have what the fuck well, if it was the sick, well, it was about Henry the Eighth, so falling off a horse in the joust. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> Sundar seems so nice. No. 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 I don't say. I don't say these names because I like them. I say <laughs> them names because I want people to know who they are. Sundar, Musk, and and Zuckerberger. <laughs> you know who they are. Well, speaking think... of names that you mm. recognize, who's ready to hear back from Bobby Kotick? Oh, Bobby K. I think that oh. article may be the most upset. Bobby K. Bobbathy. <laughs> Bobbathy oh, Kotick. Ain't nobody here to see him. <laughs> Ain't Say nobody what? here to see you, Otis. Go back. Wait. No, no, like, no, no. Like, to be fair, Anka, I want to see him. In these streets, <laughs> to, for him to catch his fate. <laughs> Going to brush my little Bob back and say respectfully, <laughs> Bob, you he ain't no diva. I want to <laughs> fight him in the streets. I'm gonna say, if you see me in the streets, remember you don't know <laughs> me. But yes, Mr. Bob Drick Kotick. Mm-hmm. Robert. <laughs> Bobert Kotick. <laughs> is interested in buying TikTok. Hell no. <laughs> First of all, she won't she won't sell it because they like we still got we still got a, a whole 860 million people left. We can let we can let one we can let a buck fifty just go. <laughs> We can just let a buck fifty just go. I'm really hoping Bite Dance does not sell it. I'm really hoping they don't. They should. Uh, Given this capitalist hellscape that we are currently in, fuck no, they don't need to sell it. Fuck these. They they can. That's what I'm saying. They can literally. They can literally cut us out of the equation and still have access to billions of dollars. They just don't want to do it because it. You know, it would kind of. It would. They would lose a, a nice market share there. But they don't mind cutting us loose. That's what I'm saying. Like, okay. Okay. You, oh, you want me to sell? Okay. Bye. The whole shebang? I don't think so. No. We got the good. whole rest of the world. <laughs> yeah, we got we have literally everyone else. What are we what are we doing? What are we even talking about? We have everybody else. All right. So before we go into TikToks future in jeopardy i do want to get through this uh so bobby Kotick was talking to none other than open ai ceo sam altman and a few other people um about buying tiktok and bite dance with bite dances um excuse me she's executive chair zhang yaming sorry if i butchered your name there um at a at, 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 at a conference at dinner Because you know, rich, all these rich people just eat together. I guess. I, like, I, I initially I was wondering how the fuck did Sam Altman get in a room with Bobby Kotick? I feel like Sam Altman was like, uh, like, no, that that motherfucker, hell no. He just don't look like he bathed. But neither does Sam Altman. Um, But yeah, so th- of course this is due to the bill that has passed at least through the House of Representatives 
called the Protecting Americans from Foreign Adversary Controlled Applications Act. What in the and long I, anime title? Kind of. And act? I want y'all to We're understand. trying to ban TikTok. Um, I'm, well, let me answer this answer question. It, trans, it translates to we're trying to ban TikTok or censor TikTok without doing it, but by forcing the company, by forcing companies to force their hands. And therefore we can't be blamed for censorship. It's this, you know, the thing is this. And when I say this, do you see what I'm physically doing on the camera? It's a mind game? Okay. No, like, right, hold on, ready, ready. I'm not touching you. 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 It's that. Yeah. It's that. That yeah. is what they're doing. Because the first but time also, they did it, it was, they were literally touching and they couldn't do it. Now it's like, look, we, we, we just said bite dance by example. We mentioned TikTok by example, you know, we, and I'm just we, like, we, we, look, we will not, we will do this to countries that are from, let's see, let's pick four countries again. China, Iran, Russia, and North Korea. Just off the top of my dome. Except, Just those except, random four countries. Except not really in the case of Russia, because um, we knew that whole like things were going on over there, and I don't think we had anywhere near that amount of energy for that. We certainly didn't have enough of that amount of energy for a company that required a whole ass Senate hearing where someone was sweating bullets under a halogen bulb, and what we said was, now you go home and you remember this and you don't do this again or there are going to be problems. But for some reason, no, TikTok gets all of the smoke and the heat for what, disrupting democracy? Oh wait, shouldn't that have been a different platform? Aren't they like in the middle of in like whole ass encrypted services at this point? But see, it's dem it's disrupting democracy. Uh, Jeez. It's democracy? Dis yes, Dis democracy. <laughs> well, I mean, fits, fits. <laughs> it fits. It does. Um, but no, TikTok is disrupting this. I'm about to fucking do it again. Just coin it. Just coin the phrase. Okay, yes. Democracy. TikTok is disrupting democracy. Ooh. Hold on. That is, that is like the title it. of this podcast now. This is the title of this episode. Disrupting I, I, democracy. I will, I will figure out how to make a title, I guess. Because I don't use the. Ooh, I like that. But mm. yeah, should make it a hashtag. Some some might make it a hashtag on um on um on Mastodon. I'm 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 gonna work that out. Make sure you tag me so I can re so I can re mm. so I can repost it. Hashtag democracy. Hashtag mm. dis disrupting democracy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but yeah, like this time when TikTok is disrupting the de democracy here, it's because of the fact that people are waking up to what America's democracy is, and they're like, mm -hmm. oh shit, oh no. The curtains, they, they can see the man behind the curtains where Facebook was like, oh yes, we're disrupting democracy. Fuck it. It's fine. Just let it happen. I, I, it happen. My brain keeps let stopping me. Let it use you. Let it use you, man. Let, let, it, let, um, it, let it use you. Except when Facebook is disrupting democracy, it, it's a, oh no, the people can't vote in the way they want to, but it keeps us all in power. No, Meta, don't do that again. But, you know, hey, you know, next year, like, don't be so out and about about it. Calm the fuck down. Mm -hmm. Don't say it like, so loud. Didn't mm -hmm. we have to have that discussion with Instagram? Didn't we have to have that discussion with Facebook, who also owns Instagram? Like, not to be confused with Facebook, who doesn't own Instagram. Not to be confused with, like, you know, the sans font like word brand or whatever that also owns facebook and instagram and then didn't we also have to have this discussion with youtube like i'm just i'm starting to wonder but then again i shouldn't when they had a whole senate hearing hey everybody how are these things are related where this person sat here and grilled a whole man about are you from china do you have family from china do you have like, anybody from related Singapore. from like anybody from china have you been in the military for China? Have you worked for a Chinese company? And this man is like, I'm from Singapore. what part of Singapore don't you understand? And it was one of those, I was looking at that and everybody was just like, this man is being blatantly ridiculous. And like a couple of people caught, they're trying to get the story started, started now. So by the time they start saying other nonsense about things coming out of China later, people are already primed for, this is probably some bullshit.
and we should be wary of them. That is what that was. I mean, it's giving the, the election is stolen. They're going to steal the election. And now look at them. They're stealing it. Like, just like I told you. It's giving the Reichstag fire. Hold on. I'll go ahead and hit y'all with the uh, with a relative link for that so that y'all can enjoy that later. Okay. We didn't start the fire. Hold on. I am tweeting some. Uh, ooh, geez. Um, I am posting something on the Mastodons. There we go. Let me try. There we go. Um, fuck, what was I about to say? Oh, yeah. So essentially what this bill is, because I, I, we, we poked fun at it, but we never really got into it. What the bill is saying is that, hey, um, we want to make sure our Americans' data is secure and that it doesn't fall into the hands of our adversaries, which, again, you know, just happens to be these random four countries that do not want Western imperialism to spread to them. They just want to be left the fuck alone. But I digress. Um... So their plan to get to make sure America's data is secure is to force ByteDance to sell TikTok to an American company, or at least to somebody American. Which again, Bobby Kotick buys TikTok or whatever. I wonder, and I'm gonna—I have some very brilliant people on the panel with me today. If you were tasked to secure America's data on the internet. Can you think of a better solution than these congressmen of forcing a ch one company, one, one company for right now, just this one company to sell a product of theirs to sell another, pro another company to an American company to secure American data, even though the company has assured that your data is already secured on American shores and cannot be accessed by quote unquote, the adversary. Mm -hmm. Is there another method that you can do that can beat the congressman's um, plan here? I mean, you can always, you can always do what uh, allow people to opt out of data collection. Be or like, as we like to say, opt into data collection. We should always mm -hmm. be opted out by default. Yes. And then just say like, hey, your data is not being collected. You know, you want to opt in for good old fashioned data collection. We got you, but you don't have to. We can, you could just not. And that's okay. That's, and a, I think, that's a good solution. I like that. You know, because I'm like. I'm not I'm not no I'm not no like tech consultant, but I am telling you like there there are ways of just being you could either say I don't want that or you could just say hey don't do that. But more but more often than not, it's just like you could just say, Hey, I don't want I don't want my, you know, data to be collected and just go with that. Okay, so there's there's one. Don't collect the data at all. Now now is this for a particular app or for you know, I mean, what 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 was the what's the parameters? Who who is not collecting this data? I think the platform holder, really. Well, what I'm saying, but is it related? Is it just one, or is it all of them? A subsection? I, I think I think it should be all of them. <laughs> okay, it, okay. So we got. I really, I really don't think it should be one particular, you know, actor. I think it should just be the nature of the game. Like, okay, so we have just by default, nobody should be collecting data on anybody. Any other, any others? I, I'm willing to hear other suggestions. Again, like we, like, these are our elected officials. They are smart people. We would not be putting them in office. Does does anybody have a better plan? Because apparently, Child, the way I'm about to hit you with the, I'm about to hit you with a Viola Davis. Do you know what that is? Does he, does he have the fan? 
Do you know? Oh. No, I said a Viola Davis. Oh, do you I don't know, know what that is? No, I don't. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> grab my, grab my purse and leave. <laughs> yeah, okay. please. Okay, all right. So before we go to Anka, Murray says, or hear me out. We collect the data, then we sell it. I feel like somebody else has got that plan, Merge. Somebody else has has that plan. And his and his name is Zuckenberger. Hmm. And his name is Nadell. Hmm. And his name is Sun is is Paichi. Hmm. And his name is Musk. Mm. <laughs> no, I'm telling. No, I'm sorry. It's not Musk because Musk ain't making no money. So. Well. <laughs> Scratch that. Well, he, can't, he, can't, he can't sell data if he didn't have it. So well, if the platform doesn't work. So yeah. Well, he out here trying. He out here trying to sell subscriptions. Like, like he, like he's like, like he's a youth, like he's a youth high school club. Uh, is that your piano <laughs> like he's a high back school there? Club. Huh? Is that your piano back there? No. Oh, I'm about to say if it was, I need you to turn on the organ setting real quick. <laughs> You know, there is an organ setting, but I don't know the, uh... The chords? The chords. The chords. Mm -mm. And I can hear it in my head as y'all are yep. saying all of this. Yep. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Well... I'd be like, Anka, E flat. <laughs> <laughs> I know where E flat is. I can do that. <laughs> Um, Anka, give do me, you give, have... me, give me a high middle C. <laughs> right. <laughs> do you have any suggestions for what we can do outside of selling a company to what to an American company just to protect US citizens' data? You see, Kev said, you know, to 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 not do it, mm -hmm. to not collect it. Mm -hmm. At all, that nobody has it. Sin just walked away. Murr says because... we should collect it and sell it. Do you have anything new to bring to the table? Something that could be better than the Protecting Americans from Foreign Adversary Controlled Applications Act, which is wild. Which is wild in on itself because Pofaco. Fact. Pofaco. Okay. Pofaco. So what? So wait. So wait. Fact. Sorry. Wait. Wait, stop. What's the question? Yeah, what's the question? What do you have a better idea than Pafaka, which is oh, to Pafaka. force an arbitrary company in China, Russia, Iran, or um, North Korea to sell a company to an American company to make sure that Americans' data is safe? We Again, could Kev said not collect it. That way nobody has it to sell it. Merge says to just collect it and sell it. Um, well, I mean, I'm assuming what Bobby Kodak has decided to do was if I buy the company that technically makes it American, it's like getting married. But then he would collect it and sell it. Huh? And mm -hmm. it's not even that. It's like, oh, no. Uh, 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 what was it? A FISA order? The the secret the secret court order? Sure, we'll hand over the data, and we'll make that our rhythm. Do anything you want to do, and, Mr. And, President. And always, and it's always the thing that always had me wondering, like, and then who, and then who would he sell it to? You know what I would love ooh, to see? Oh, oh, oh! I got the answer to that. I got the answer to that, Kev. I got it. I got it. Okay. Yeah. Um, the answer would be. China, yeah, yeah. You know because that's because that's the thing, though. It's like he would buy it, flip it, and then sell it back to then be like, all right, cool. And then they would have to either a run this whole shenanigans again, or it'd be like, ah, ah. You say I had to hold it. No, no, because then just like the um the lawsuit about the um about the um, folks in the Congo trying to hold big tech accountable. Oh no, look, they bought it from a place and they didn't know that it was conflict minerals. So they are not directly responsible for all this suffering in the Congo for all mm -hmm. this cobalt and, and Colton. Yeah. Sorry, children of the Congo, you lose your lawsuit. 
now get back mm -hmm. in the minds. Mm -hmm. So again, it's all that. That's the part that always gets me. Like, all right, he sell. They sell it for whatever reason. They won't, but they sell it. Bobby buys it. Where do you think it's gonna go then? And then, and then they're like, cool. Now they have access to it. To a true Chinese subsidiary, and they don't gotta, and they don't gotta, and they don't gotta, and they, and then they don't have to tell you nothing because it's like, no, 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 it's the, it's, we saw, he bought it, and he sold, and he sold it, and that's, <sighs> and, if, and if you're one, and if you're probably wondering, well, Kev, that doesn't make any sense. We should probably ask more questions about that. Exactly, exactly. We should ask more questions about this. We shouldn't just, it shouldn't just be like an eight day vote. We should be like, this should be up for debate. This should be talked about. This should be explained. But, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. But see, I don't know. On TikTok today, my, my, everybody's favorite oh, no, government promoting. official, I mean, everybody's favorite North Carolina representative. Oh, yeah. And I TikToker. That said that, so that hey helps. tiktok won't be banned but checks notes dog you voted, voted for it to be banned you dumbass and he said he voted upon it he voted on it used his whole platform on tiktok to tiktok and what make it so bad is he is literally he has literally been gerrymandered out of his own district he's that's not why he he's, that's why he's here running for um attorney general attorney general so now he gotta go. He gotta go. He gotta go in front in front of so in front of his young North Carolinians and be like, "Why should we vote for you for a why we should we vote for you for Attorney General when you got rid of TikTok, my guy?" How stupid do you have to be? It makes That's it makes me it makes me regret my decision because remember how I said I filled out my uh, my primary ballot real quick. He was one of the three people I voted for. Imagine how much quicker that primary ballot would have been had I known he was going to be some two-time backstabbing little bitch boy. If I only knew now what I do. You know, right. I'm just saying, like, how stupid do you have to be to vote to get rid of the one platform that's able to reach the up-and-coming generation Hold on. that is going to the, make... The, the platform that you are on and using. As and a, it says as a, it, as, a re, as a house representative, and it comes back and says like, "Oh no, it's not going to get banned." You sure shit didn't stop it, right? <laughs> you and let it go all right through. Say, like, "I don't worry, he's fine." I mean, only only the president I voted for and support is going to sit there and sign it into law. That's the other thing. I'm just like, it, it, it's the fact that a Democrat voted for it to send it to a Democrat ran Senate. Where the Democrat press, where the Democratic president is going to vote for it, you know they locked up because they sent up propping up literally like um fucking weekend at Bernie's, genocide Joe. My nigga, mm -hmm. the I last feel, thing he should have done today was come on TikTok. Which, which to which to in my opinion, to be fair. And the wild and the wildest thing and the wildest thing about it, but I feel like we have to, I, I feel like this has to be said before we then have to move on. Yeah. But what, what, what I had to say though, the funniest thing about this, the funniest thing about this is like your house representative from your state, Democrat, voted against it, voted for it. But my representative in my state voted no. And you know who that person is? It better not be Brian Kemp. Oh no! No, Mar Brian Kemp's the governor. He, Brian Kemp's the governor. It, it is was Marjorie Taylor Greene, wasn't it? It's Marjorie Taylor Greene. Oh my she god! She said no. She, she voted she, no to the She voted baby. no on it. So up is down and down is up, man. I was this like, this don't when, make no fucking I sense. Went, I went to. So I went to. Hand, hand, I went to the luncheon lawyer. Who's my favorite? Who's my favorite? Who's my favorite? Uh, who's my favorite on TikTok? And they and went off, and I was like, well, I guess this is definitely a real, uh, 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 real message, wrong messenger. 
and then I've like I, my my mentions have never known peace because it's like oh what do you mean two thousand likes on the comment what <laughs> so like this is very right. this is a very telling thing I don't know if y'all saw what the numbers were like on those votes but there was a majority in the house that voted on it and it was like a hundred plus on both parties voted in favor of it and then on one on the other side it was like 30 or less republican 50 or less democrat on that vote and all of those people in those smaller numbers were just like i see where y'all are going with this but at this point i can see this coming back for us actually y'all shouldn't mm -hmm. do this yeah I you swear, can, this is the most like, bipartisan looking shit because ever, they were bro. Like, because you know, they were like, just like, y'all were, was... we are like two seconds, we're a whisper away from saying something and having to review this whole First Amendment and like, y'all aren't ready for that. It's like, it's like, while, it's like, while she was lucid, she did say, she did say, you know, well, there's reasonings by it because you don't, we don't want government entities to feel like that they can go in and like cut into, because it's like, a freedom of speech issue. It's a First Amendment issue. They don't want people to like be able to then. Uh, wow, the one time she gets it right, right, <laughs> and then and then and then the lucidity left, and then she was like, "Damn Democrats!" And it was like, "You were almost there. You were almost there. You were right there. You had make you were making some good points. Then you lost. Then you lost it, and then you just went off again. And this then it was is like, sad. yep, there we go. All right, All this right. is sad." Only one that was the, that was North the, Carolinian voted no, and it was a Republican. Yeah, because again, they because again, they are to a certain extent, you know, for now the party of the party of small government, and they don't want, you know, they don't want gov they don't want big gov to come in there and be like, yeah, you can't do that, you can't do that, chief. Uh, merge, merge, merge. They remember the first. They know it exists. They just don't remember who it applies to. Right. Or what it applies to. Mm hmm Okay, so, at least one Democrat in, in, in Georgia voted against it. And the one person that voted for it was like Lucy McBath. And I'm like, ah, oh, my chest. I'm hurting. You know oh, what? no. Well, there's also a, a, a David Scott. And a Johnson. It's the and way I'm that like, Anka and, just looks eternally confused that is sending. And then it was like, of course, old buddy. And I was thinking to myself, of course, old buddy voted for it. And then it was like, Marjorie said, and then like I say, Marjorie said no. Marjorie, Marjorie said, no. said no. That was the wild part because I heard it and then I looked it up and I'm like, Marjorie said no. Oh, oh but her, her, her former buddy said yes. Yeah. Yeah. Bo Bobert says it's got to go. Mm hmm. But just, you know. Her, you know, her, her, How New her Jersey Bo looking. All right, let's see. Her, 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 and Bo her and Bobo. Yeah, they fall. They, they, they falling off. They, they falling off. They, they and they mean girls era. So they kind of uh -huh. like dealing with it. Everybody in New Jersey except for Kim. I'm just saying, like, they're so like they're so evil. <laughs> yes. And greedy that yes. they cannot see. Yes, they can't see how they can't, this will see them. like really in an election year. Bite them back. In an like, election year, no less. Right. That, that's the part that cracks me so up. It's so crazy how the most, one of the most crazy and outlandish people in the Republican Party, one of them, because there's a ton of them, I, which is, uh, one ooh, of them which has, ooh, has ooh. a sense of morality and is like, uh, yeah, yeah. maybe we shouldn't do this. Hold on. Like, um, so the boy toy, Green's boy toy, Mr. Oh, Matthew boy Gates. Toy. Of Florida voted no to the ban. See, for, first I mean, of all, you it, said I mean, someone from band. to keep it a band in a buck. You said someone from Florida voted voted no on the ban. That should have told you. Okay, here's what it's giving. Try to follow me here. You remember the one time that I can't remember what old boy's name was that said some that said something or other, and Terry Crews slid into his mentions and said, "Yeah, I totally agree with you on this," and he went, "Wait." 
wait, never mind. Taking it back, turning around and going down the other side of this escalator because I know that when I agree with this person, absolutely not. Mm. You know two, Republicans, do, two Republicans and a Democrat from Florida voted no. Mm-hmm. Moskowitz, rising Florida. star in Congress, voted yes. Some of the most prominent figures of the peanut gallery are saying no. You should probably listen. Mm -hmm. You it's, should probably listen. It would be nice if there was I could see like just how like who actually did vote no. Like I would search no, but some people have N O in their name and it would not kind of work. I get well, I don't know. No, yeah, it doesn't well, work that way. I'm pretty sure, sure you can search for that because that's a public record, right? Well, well, well yeah, if I went, but I'm on CNN's website. Okay, hold on. Like, I'm trying to sort what that information out, but um, what's the guy's name, Jeff? People should go to his TikTok account and ban it and report it for false advertising. Who? I mean, they've been. I mean, they've been. They've been like. They've been chewing him up. Oh, the, that's in, right. In all right, so, all right, we got New York. We got New York. Our former darling, Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. A progressive star who all of a sudden says that we're lying on her about the um about the genocide in Palestine. How did she vote on this TikTok man? I I'm I'm taking bets. She said what? No. She was exactly. AOC was confronted at a movie theater about her support of the genocide, and she just straight up sit there and said that they were lying on her. She took like in an interview it took a half an hour to say the word genocide and did not use it as like saying Israel was committing a genocide in Gaza um by the way what was the bill do you know what the bill was um I do not have the number on me it is well it's in the article give me a second uh No, it's not. Apparently, I... Oh, it's in the other article. It, I do not have a number for it. It just says HR, but it does not have a number. You know what? This may be... This may not be the bill version. This one may, may, may have been the one that was in committee. What in the 12th century formatting is this? Ma'am, it's 18th century. Thank you. 17th, oh. 1700s. God. Oh. Well. New York. <laughs> a lot, obviously, more a lot more yeses than noes. Oh my goodness, AOC came through. She voted no. Mm -hmm. Jeffries, however, House Minority Leader, voted yes. King. That's how you know both these parties are scummy for real. That's Nadler voted no. Elise Stefanik voted yes. Thanks, Brad. I mean, again, Gates and Green voted no. Mm -hmm. I don't think. Um, I feel like I'm missing something here. I'm not missing anybody. Either they, either they like really voted no genuinely, or they were like, okay, some of us have to vote no to make it seem like, you know, some of us got some sense. Raskin voted yes. Oh. Raskin, oh, somebody. <laughs> Pelosi's somebody still, Pelosi's still in there, right? She's just not the lead. <laughs> Pelosi voted yes. Of course, Pelosi did. She did. She did. She did, she did that tic tac toe. A winner. If anything, if anything proves verse for here, like no matter what size you call, it's still the same coin. Exactly. Proof. Proof. Mm -hmm. The it's Democratic so, Party is the party of euphemisms. Mm -hmm. You got you gotta base you gotta basically say, you gotta basically say to yourself at the end of the day. If you voting for who you vote for, you gotta you gotta um, be like major. Yes. Um, I have a update hot from the desk because what? my Google Foo is strong. 
Um, it is HR seven five two one for the reference. Okay. Um, here, here you are. I mean, look at who voted for it. It is so. Um, there you go. Names, numbers, dates, states, all of it. There you, you go. You posted it in a place I can't show. <laughs> Um, it is also, oh, it also has a seating or it also has a seating arrangement. Do you want me to slide that into I'm the chat? It up now. I'm pulling it up now. Oh, damn. Mm -hmm. So let's see, I want to click the nays. So let me click nay. Um, wait, did you want to wait? I just want to see to, all like, the nays. Yeah, I just want all the nays. Um, they're all at the top. They're all at the top there. They're like, um, the sayers of nay. They have a statistically notable votes and all of them are nays. This country's a joke, bro. Okay, damn, it was right here in front of me. So yeah, how did New York vote? Um, oh, there were was, a lot oh, of yays yeah. over there. Yeah, it's a lot of yays. Um, here, let me put it this way. For New York, it is easier for you to tell me, to, for me to tell you how many nays there were than how many yays there were. There were seven people who said no from New York. Seven out of 25. Corey Bush. There we go. Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait. Elon, oh, this is this is horrible. I can't do this. I gotta go back to this one. Yeah, Omar. I think Omar was no. Omar who? Ily Omar. She is no. Yeah, I All remember right, so that. So Bush I is no. Remember. Omar is no. Mm -hmm. Talib. How do you spell her name? Did they let Talib back in back Why into the, the building? T A L B it's L I B or something. Um T L A I B. T A L Okay, so oh, it's, her, oh, it's not she's not even on this list. Nope, she is not. What state is she from? Oh wait, she is on the list. How did you spell I, Well, me? sort of. I don't think which is it which, it's not Wisconsin, is it? It's, uh Michigan. Michigan, yeah. There's no vote Oh, I there. did. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So it's T L A I B. Somebody say that? Yep. Okay, then that I misheard me. it. I misheard it. Ab abstained. Okay. okay. Um there were like a handful of people who did that. I think it's a little bit less than 10. What was the Who's who's the other squad? Who's the other squad member? That's what um, I'm thinking of. So at least the squad was like no or hey, we just ain't here. Yeah. This this, this you know the the squad. There yeah, a, squad yeah, there's like, a fourth member, and I can't think of who it is right now. Um, Presley. No. Yep. And crack. Oh, and Crockett just said present. Okay. Oh, let's go. Oh, Crockett, <laughs> Crockett. Okay. I was looking at Carter. Crockett. I said no, not no, Crockett. not Carter. But Crockett, Crockett. Crockett always. Crockett always looks like my boo loves line sister, and I'm like, I cannot unsee it now. <laughs> Crockett was out here that's like, I'm only here so I don't get fined. Yeah, I'm I'm basically like, look, I already know I already know what time it is. I ain't even trying I ain't even trying to do even these even, votes. Kate, just... even even Katie Porter voted now. See, here's the thing. I'm looking, I'm looking, yeah. I mean of course I mean of course it's Katie Porter though. We knew but, was but again. Yeah. Not saying much, but still. Yeah. It's no, no, she did. She did. She did recently. She did recently. Um, call for ceasefire. So yeah, I'm. So, I'm. Um, yeah, I'm looking at. I'm looking at Anka, and I feel like every comment that Anka wants to make sounds like the following. This is what it's like becoming an adult, Anka. I had to go through it too. I'm just. Like it's it's one of the things where I'm like, I don't really understand. Like like I get like I get people are just like yeah yeah I'm just gonna it's better it's better that I go along with the quote unquote bipartisanship, but it's more or less like y'all y'all do know 
that's not the that's not the move because y'all y'all literally are going in on something and on election year while some of y'all are going through like hard fought ass seats on again, a bill they that already doesn't have they already in his again you know how we said it's all connected I'm bringing the right. Israel angle. They are already gung ho on Israel. Israel wants TikTok gone just about as much as every one of them do for reasons no, TM. Than, what the, well, I mean, what? here's the thing for reasons TM, but more so because remember, everybody, this is where we have to remember that about eight episodes ago now, we had to have a talk because they were trying to like talk to people and like get into the DMs and the messages and the emails of influencers trying to get them to actively speak out in favor of things related to um, like Israel's position in the, you know, like basically Israel's position in the atrocities that they were committing and being like, these people are out here doing a good thing or doing the right thing or whatever. They actively went to influencers and said please say these things because people are getting on TikTok and popping off about this mm -hmm. with the footage and the receipts and everything else and we can't have that and we have to find some way to combat it and they could not and people were just straight up like um you did what you did I don't know what to tell you some people went for the bait but not a lot of them so now we're here where they're just like well we can't get we can't make it stop so we have to kind of like cut your company off And of course, the people who had the most influence speaking out about this were marginalized people from here, most of which are from places that have already been through all of that stuff. Like insert the indigenous population of America and black people. Basically, and, and for that matter, Latino people too, just basically all the people who had previously been colonized have been like, oh, we've seen all this before. This is some bullshit and they are fucking up over here this is what we're talking about and they were just like these people in the united states for like for sure are making a little bit too much rah 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 about all the other things complete with receipts and everything else in a place where everybody's going to listen to them because we've already prevented these people from talking so i mean don't forget that um anti-defamation league um just flat out said oh we have a social media problem Like, girl, the mess. And uh, this is why, and this is why your favorite op-ed writer is going to tell you things when it comes to technology are never, and I do mean never with a capital N, neutral. Right. Oh yeah, I dropped a I dropped a link for the chat, and then I also dropped a link for the Discord uh, group chat. It's a it's a vi it's a video a. A lot of this that's happening in, with uh, TikTok reminded me of a particular scene from Miracle on 34th Street. And I feel from the original Miracle on 34th Street, I think 1974. The original, the original. The, the, the OG, not, not the 90s version, but the OG. Um, so I highly recommend that once you get a chance, kind of like watch that because it literally breaks down to a person being like, yeah, you you need to think before you make this ruling you need to really think about before you know you really need to really think about what you saying is going to affect a lot of people that you don't think is going to affect so you and that's going to also impact not only companies but it's going to impact you personally and they're going to say it with votes and so that's why i wanted that to be like posted to the chat so they can watch it on you know while they're watching us and then we can watch it later and talk about it because yes, it's fucking it's two minutes of it's two minutes of fucking brilliance. Yeah. Who's ready to talk about some gaming news? Yes. <laughs> and I trust a, me, it's a good one. It's a good one. As as a palate cleanser, it's a good story. It's a feel good story. Oh God. Okay. Capcom is making smart moves and miss all the layoffs. Which, Capcom which I'm very said, happy about. <laughs> Capcom said, you know what? We had a good year in 2023. Sure we put out some did. Monster World shit. We put out some Resident Evil shit. Yo, we've been putting out some good shit, bro. How about we invest in our employees? 
Hand clap what? praise. No way. What? Hand clap praise. Hand clap praise. That's so crazy. That's an option. Wow. Believe it or not, it is. Wow. In a press release, Capcom announced that it will be raising salaries by at least 5%. It also stated that starting salaries will be increased for graduate hires next year. Not only that, but a one-off payment will be coming to all current employees and those hired from April 2024 and onward. What? It's almost this as in as if investing into your employees will make the company do better. What? This panel was, where they're, they're basically paying these people back taxes. That's so crazy. This what? payment was characterized as an investment in the people who support the future of the company. By Capcom. It's Capcom as if the company can't run unless you have actual people running in it. Like, what? That's so crazy. Who would have thought? The company wants wow. to make sure it is committing to, quote, pursuing further investment in human capital and the acquisition of exceptional talent. What? They're not using AI like that? Wow. I don't like wow. the fact that they consider their employees human capital. That sounds weird, but hey, I mean. I mean, yeah. Considering everything else, I'll let us lot. Wow. That is that is amazing. You, you know, know, I talked about those graduates. They're getting a bump up in salary once they join after graduating. They're going from 235,000 yen to 300,000 yen a month. They getting paid a reasonable salary in this economy? Wow. That is going up. So for Americans here who can't read the article, that's $1,594.05 to $2,034.96 a month. You mean this has all been possible for, for forever? This is always an option? Oh. 27.7% increase. Wow. I didn't think it was possible. Wow. Let's just, let's just take a moment to, you know, ain't, ain't, won't he do it? I mean, again, <laughs> even though I did not buy it, it's good to support Capcom, baby. Street Fighter 6 came out last year. It's blurred though, but we see you. There we go. That is. It's not blurred. We now see you. Yeah. Straight Street Fighter 6, baby. This is a proud Capcom product. Mm -hmm. as, some, as somebody who definitely hunts the monsters, yes, I am definitely been enjoying good Capcom products. Monster Hunter is on sale, by the way. I would say wait till it's not on sale to buy it, but look, I know. <laughs> But Monster Hunter is on sale. Just, I'm pretty sure like they don't care at this point. But it's like, hey, cool. I mean, I mean, they they got they got me for Wild. So Wild's coming up. So I just need. And of course, I bought some um, Sunbreak DLC. I brought the Sunbreak DLC. So yeah, your boy gonna be hunting the Mons, uh, pretty well. <laughs> Look, Birds, you win some, you lose some, man. <laughs> Come small on. Small victories, Birds. Your small, small victories. victories. <laughs> So small post victory. that in chat right now. What small victories? No, Anka, you Anka, go post that in chat. Though. What is, go post what is, it in chat. Uh, what are you doing in Discord? <laughs> we can't see that. You know what? What's I'm going on, Biho? How you doing, man? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh, oh! Because I think I know look at that. Doing. Look at look at that quality cosplay, though. What is Capcom, baby? Start. Street Fighter X Tekken. Love to see it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Namco's doing good too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But Capcom, baby. <laughs> that would that, that would have been that would have been cool if y'all did like the thing where it's like they have the they have the the Bandai the Bam, Bandai Namco on the floor and like Capcom on the floor and then you just see like the feet just come the down whoosh. like and then like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, cop, like it's a Kazuya, like, like yeah, Sakura look like she's about, about to get clapped right each now. Other out, like, ah. Yeah, I'm sorry to say, Sakura look like she's about to get clapped right now. I don't, she don't, she don't know that. She don't know that, but we do. <laughs> <laughs> See, I told you, good news, good news. What's the in it? Huh? 
Merge says DRM. What's DRM? Digital rights management. You know, oh. the thing that keeps you from copying shit. Oh. <sighs> now that your palate is cleansed, I have some internet hate for you. Sweet baby. And how nobody really understands game development, but of course we, we knew this. <sighs> Who remembers Gamergate? Okay. Yeah, Sorry. it was 10 years ago. Vaguely. <laughs> what was that 10 years ago? I was a sophomore in college. I had the baby. Yeah, I was I was working. I remember I was working in I was working at UNC then. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Didn't even know y'all existed. No. But um game um not gamer game, but yeah, so there are <sighs> gamers TM on the internet who think that sweet baby is making their video games woke. They think that they think that sweet baby is the reason why the the, the um oh fuck what was it the Suicide Squad game failed. They think that Miles Morales is the fault of sweet baby. They think that sweet baby is ruining video games everywhere because instead of. The scantily clad, very tight spandex, latex clothes wearing females you normally see or will see when Stellar Blade comes out. We now get pixie haircut, thick women who look like Zarya from Overwatch. And those gamers have had enough. Unfortunately for them, they do not know that Sweet Baby is a writing consulting firm that helps studios plug plot holes. Make sure a game makes sense or a story makes sense or writes incidental dialogue that NPCs say when you're walking down a fucking street in a video game. I would just like to enjoy a video game and and not have to think about the gamers TM when I play them. Uh -huh. This is once again giving gamers were a mistake. Uh -huh. But they fought for it so much. I read the history of Gamergate for this article and I was like, yo, I didn't even know half of this. And it's like, y'all are fighting for the gamer identity. This is why I, I want to call my, oh my God. I was like, at this point, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not a gamer. I am a game enthusiast. Can I be a gaming academic? I occasionally aspired a video game from afar. Just. Once again, it's very much the energy of y'all don't embarrass me. Don't embarrass me. Wait, ain't you? Is this not, em is this not embarrassing to you? How are you not embarrassed? Mm -hmm. This is really embarrassing. It's like, y'all, y'all so fucking impressed by the girls you can't get that when they take the digital fake ones away from you. It's like, this is all I have. And it's like, maybe you should so want you better. How about you? Like on, a, like on a statistic level, right? It's one of those, they're trying to be woke about these games. The evidence of said thing that they are trying to express is a black person has made it into the character creator. Yep. A black person was in the background for a scene at like yep. the opening screen of the game. 
one, a single one of them. Y'all are the same people who were upset that the characters weren't overly sexualized in the She-Ra cartoon, which was about what, like teenage area people with superpowers in a cartoon? Because all of the main characters were in there were teens for the most part, except for like a handful of adults. You're just kind mm -hmm. of like, what's wrong with y'all? Mm -hmm. Because they're used to watching anime where the girl where, where the girls who look like literal seven year olds just have nope, they make that complaint out. about they made that complaint about anime too. Like it's just one of those these people are appropriately dressed and this person is darker than a paper bag. What do you mean? No, that's what I'm saying. Like they were hoping that the teenage girls in She-Ra looked hi hypersexualized because again, they're used to girls in anime at seven looking like that. Well, I do want to point out two things about that. Their reference was to the 80s cartoon where oh, yeah. there was, I guess, more of that style of dress because that was the thing at the time. But then again, obviously from the 80s cartoons, the guys were also dressed this way. And yes. I'm just like, y'all need help. All of you need help. But then also looking at this, it's kind of like when they cited the reasons that these people were up in arms about video games and the video games they were up in arms about, I'm like, were y'all the people who were upset that they had a woman's only screaming of the Ghostbusters 2 movie? Yeah, probably. No, no, talk to me about it. It's a safe space. Is that y'all? Was that what happened? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, it was them. Those are the same people asking, oh, so we can make Black Panther white? Like... Mm -hmm. I think... So, I think clock into think... the nanosecond. What... what t tell us about this. Okay. So same exact situation, basically, except the comment on TikTok was it's it's not a problem if the main character race doesn't impact the story. It doesn't matter what race or ethnicity the Stop. main character is, as long as it doesn't impact the story. You said what? Pulse on my white panther. <laughs> right. And then so somebody tried to make a rebuttal and was like, oh, so Black Panther can be white then? And the person said, did you not read what I just said? As long as it doesn't impact the story itself, it doesn't matter what ethnicity the, the character is, that, like that, the main character. That, and, that, oh, sorry, I'm sorry. No, Go you're ahead. fine, you're fine. And he's like, oh, and then they kept asking, oh, so Black Panther can be a white guy then? And I was like, you're, are you not reading what I'm saying? <laughs> he literally I mean, cannot be white. <laughs> I mean, unless he was from apartheid South Africa, apparently. Mm. Right. But correct me if I'm wrong. Wakanda is not based on that region. Yes, right? I know. I know. But right. Mm -hmm. If Someone's it was, gonna, someone's going to make that stretch. <laughs> right. That was that was the that was also they were like in... the reasoning of Claw because Claw was South Africa. Part of, yeah. yeah, Claw was part of that apartheid south but it was more like he was more like oh i'm trying to uh you know access that i'm trying to access that wealth from a from a part of a region that i am you know not technically from but mm -hmm. uh i remember they i remember they brought i remember they uh, uh they not so much br like addressed it but they brought it up in like when uh falcon and winter soldier where it was the whole thing like oh you were in oh when when bucky was in wakanda being deprogrammed and he was like oh <laughs> And then uh, Falcon, and then um, Sam made the, uh, the the joke, the quip of like, "Oh, you were in there. Oh, you were in uh, Wakanda. So I guess that means you would make you white, 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 uh, white panther." And uh, Bucky was like, "No, they called me White Wolf." And he was like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> <laughs> well, they call they call me White Wolf, and I'm like, "Huh?" <laughs> like, Duh, even like I, I like, know I can't be the White Panther, dude. I, Shut I can't up. Be, I cannot be White. I cannot be White Panther. They gave me my own nickname. <laughs> it is White Wolf. Also, because yeah, wolves are indigenous to America, dumbass. Yes, yeah. of course. They don't have wolves. In, they don't have wolves. In, they don't have wolves in Africa. So yeah, oh, <laughs> think you right would know that. Now. All people. <laughs> it's just so crazy how they're like, oh, we don't want our games to be political. Literally, every game has some kind of political every ga aspect. Everything is political. 
everything. You know, Tetris. Here, here. Tetris is arguably one of the most political games Te that Tetris exists. is political. Exactly. It, that is literal we'll politics. Start the whole war. Like, okay, come on. let me, let me, can, can I just for a second? Yeah. We don't want our games to be woke and political. You are playing fucking hell divers too. No, they don't get yes. that. They don't. They don't. That they went don't, over their head. Grasp that. that went over their head. Y'all know y'all about to like y'all about to get it, and it's one of the. I'm saving that for the Google Doc because that needs to be on DC Analyst. I swear to God, but um, it is it is just. Y'all are playing on a game of super, like where you are quote unquote called super earth and you're out here to spread democracy by fighting yeah. aliens who, if I understand correctly as a premise of the game, offer to give you stuff for free. And you said, but we want more than you're willing to give. So we're going to have more intense negotiations about it. And it's mm, one of those. That sounds that doesn't oddly, look, that sounds oddly familiar given the time frame. And if you doubt what we're doing, it's treason. It's automatic treason, Google. Yeah. Um, yeah. you know, so Yeah. Ooh. It's like to can't to catch it. It's like we need to take down illegal broadcast towers. And the illegal broadcast towers is we're using the bugs as fuel. The bugs are the bugs are cultivated for fuel. I mean, treasonous, I know. But people but that, are so like I'm just I just sit here and look at this. I look at games like Division, where it's kind of like, we are staging a whole fight in the middle of Washington, DC. You are playing Halo, where there are whole like government entities trying to get you to do things. Y'all are out here playing Mass Effect. You're playing Final Fantasy VII, where the bad guy is a, corp is a corporation that is like damaging the spirit of the planet. Y'all are out here playing all of these games where it's a you against corrupt empires and influences, but for whatever reason, the black person being on the screen is the cue for you that the game is a little bit too political for your liking. Fuck out of here. Y'all played game. Detroit Become Human and did not get it. Every mm -hmm. game. I mean, I but to be fair, did, 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 did David Cage get himself get it though? What do you mean? No. Did David Cage himself get it? No, of um, course not. Oh, oh, wait, hold, hold on. Because I remember when he came out, they were just like, no, that wasn't a political game. Did you know that, here's here's a fun fact for y'all. Did you know that he issued a written retraction of that statement in I... the complete opposite direction, not even two years later? And was kind of like, oh no, this is right there. Like, he knows. He knew oh, that okay. shit. He I said, did not know that. that. That's okay. Him. okay. That's him. No, like that came up later. And people were just like, I thought you said it was a political issue. Hit him with the tweet and everything, and he was just like, "Oop!" and said nothing else about it. Sure I did. Who it was, who was creating another, who was creating a Ubisoft game and said it wasn't political. Damn it! it You're it playing Watch Dogs and don't think that's political. How? I want to say that was Ghost Recon, but I'm not sure. It was a Breakpoint? I feel like it was Break. It might have no. been Breakpoint. What? No. Are these people? Because I mean, because I mean, real talk. Oh. Any Tom Clancy, you can say that about any Tom Clancy yeah, that, game. Like that like, is, uh, it's literally political thrillers. Mm -hmm. Anything, anything, rain, anything. Tom Clancy is yes. Rainbow Six, of course. It was Breakpoint. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was. Like, you know what? That sounds like Breakpoint. Cause I, uh, uh, yeah. And like, yeah, Ubisoft does. Ubisoft has no like to stand on between all of Tom Clancy, <laughs> then Far Cry. Like, no, no. It's literally to stop wars, and it's not political. Mm-hmm. <sighs> what? So weird. I I just I don't know I don't know what people are. Is it crack? Cause is it crack? Is it crack? And which, and you know, given the people who I think are making these comments and the way the U.S. wants to save a certain set of people with it, 
I think it's yeah. Thank thank you, um, Pulse. It's fentanyl. <laughs> it's fentanyl. That's right. I was going to say meth, but yeah, fentanyl. Nah, it's right. It's fentanyl. Um. Last week we reported on Saber Interactive going indie. Looks like they took some development, um, some development studios with them. They took 4A, um, 4A Games. Um, geez, um, the developers of the Metro series. They took Zen Studios, who makes Zen Pinball. And I think they took some others, but the article, like, honestly, I'll rush this one. I'll rush this article. If, if the call was here, he would know. He he started talking about it in the Discord server. Well, you too can talk about these news stories and more. And he said some things and I got lost. I got confused. Uh, it's Sid. I believe you are closing down the show. You have one more thing. So there are whispers on the wind on um, that Twitch has put out a letter to its partner creators and people who are part of the Prime Video Watch Parties they, that were just kind of like, hey, if you've been hosting those watch parties or whatever, accessing them, we just want you to know that we are going to be cutting that service, that service off completely on April the 2nd of 2024. So if you have been over to those streams where you pull up and it's just like, hey, you have Amazon Prime and they tell you that the answer is no. And then they're just like, yeah, you're going to have to come back later because this person is doing like an Amazon sponsor and watch party or whatever. Um, there will be no more of those. They are discontinuing that in April. Mm. I cannot like and that and that is the news that we currently have on it because that was mailed kind of privately to people. I do not know why they are doing that. Because like one, isn't Twitch like Twitch is Amazon owned at this point? Yes. And or at least Amazon sponsored and funded, which means this would be a wonderful way to do that because of course people are gonna pull up to these streams to go and watch these things. So that's how they were introducing people to a whole bunch of Amazon Prime specials and exclusive content and all this other stuff by using the influencers to get the word out there. So I'm very curious about what the reason is that they decided to remove that, but I am sure that we will have some update on this or other in the coming weeks. Probably toward the end of April, which reminds me that we're almost at the end of March, my Lord. Indeed, we are. Mm -hmm. But closer we're, we're at still. the halfway point tomorrow. But but closer still. Wait, hold on. I don't have prom, but I could see that as being fun. It, it looked fun. I never did it. Listen, I um, use it. I use it like when I I twisted my hair and we watched three movies one time. Listen, it was a good time. And it's like you have mm -hmm. to be subscribed to Amazon Prime to watch it, right? Yeah, yeah. Like you now, can't like watch the viewer it. has to be. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So yeah, I don't see why that's an issue. It's not like they were. It's not like people were watching free ass movies. People like, literally would have had to have Prime and could have watched it themselves. Mm -hmm. So this should not have mattered. Yeah, I don't know. Like it shouldn't have mattered, and it also gave like a way to be like, hey, we're gonna have like a little movie party or whatever, and it gave everybody a way to do that. Like basically, they gave they had a way to do that legally, and they're just like, what was the reason for this? And then it's like, well, everybody back to YouTube again. GGs. Like, because well, Sin said that. Um, well, oh, I'm sorry, were you finished? You kind of, yeah, I was finished. Okay, because he's like, you was like, but and then you just dropped off. I'm sorry, I was, it, was, it was more like, but mm. oh, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm gonna make this segue work. Sin said we were close, to, we were almost at the end of the month, but closer still, we're at the end of the show. Yeah, I'm sorry. I had to go back and get it, but I, 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 Anka was saying something. Pulse was saying something, so I had to gotta make space. But you know, um, time to check in. What's everybody got going on this week? I know what somebody's doing this week or this weekend at least. Yup. Y'all like party? Y'all dropping it low out here? If oh. I drop it low, I am not coming back up. Mm -hmm. um, what are you doing this it's weekend? It's dropping, never coming back. Are you gonna, what are you doing this weekend? I'm gonna be in Raleigh. That's oh, right. Dang. 
It depends on what day it is. Saturday. Um, Saturday, we might. <laughs> Saturday, I might be able to get into some antics and shenanigans. So antics and shenanigans. I'm down. Well, hopefully it's before five thirty because that's when the train back to Charlotte leaves. Oh, <laughs> uh, before five thirty. Mm. Okay, we can make that work. We can make that work. I will have to we may see. We may be able to get into much antics, but we can definitely squeeze in a shenan or two. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll have to see depending on how coverage will be at my booth, but yeah. yeah. I need to what what we but what we need though are um, are some baseball jerseys. You know, I was thinking about that too. I was I've, that's been on my mind. That's in my notion. I've been I'm trying, staring at it every time. I've been I'm I'm trying to um get into this Mary J. Blige era. <laughs> Try to take it back to 1993. Let's do it. And you know what? I can make us all some bucket hats because I found a free bucket hat pattern and I've been in my sewing bag lately. So. I need something for my hair. <laughs> you know something? Okay. Um, I will. Um, I think the house will approve one new hat. <laughs> no, I'm in the I'm in the middle of like I am personally in the middle of like okay so Anka we don't get to talk about this so there is a whole bunch of like fashion stuff going on which turns into a YouTube playlist rearranging my closet making lists of things a chart a table and like having to buy furniture to be like all right we're donating everything in this box at the end of March so makes sense although. Honestly, it's probably going to be at the end of April because I have to take a trip at the end of March. Mm. Makes sense. I need to do the same, actually. <sighs> um, as for me, I suppose I might be seeing, um, I have no idea where they are relative to me on the screen, but they're over here in Discord, so. Um, I will hopefully get to maybe see some people and be outside, especially if the weather holds up and if it's been as nice as it's been this week. We out here. We are outside. Y'all are going to have to see me in the waking world. I apologize in advance. What? So, why are you apologizing? That's yeah, I don't, know, I don't know. I understand why either, but you know. Yeah, don't don't, 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 don't apologize for being outside. Don't do that. It's going to be 72 and partially cloudy on Saturday. We outside. Ooh. Yeah, we are. You outside. We outside. We outside. You're. You're. Okay. You're. Yes. What you got going on? Uh, well, it has been um, Steam Next Fest. So I had not Next Fest. Uh, Steam Spring Sale. I, I took advantage of some deals. I got. Um. Uh. Finally. Had got uh, Vampire Survivors for the um, Steam Deck, specifically for the Steam Deck. Um, also have um, this other awesome game called Fro uh, Froglite, which is like it's like about less than three dollars. I think it's like three fifty nine or something like that. It's just a cheap game. It it kind of fits in that same like Survivors esque roguelite type of thing where you're a frog i think it might not be good for everybody because you know you know you do unlock different tongues and the tongues will be kind of like blah, 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 blah. so you, that might not be good for you that might not be good for you if you're not really good with frog tongue um but it's a good time and i like playing it on my steam deck so that's also a good thing um also uh probably starting to do some much needed yard work because Spring is springing, and by springing, I mean weeds, and weeds have been popping up a lot, and I need to also pick up those dead uh, flower heads that have been dropping, you know, exponentially in my yard, so, you know, there's some, you know, now that it's become, now that it's, like, warming up, but not too, too hot, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna take advantage of that, and, like, work the perimeter, and finally getting on, and, uh, don't tell the Lorax, finally gonna be starting to get all the trees, cut down out of my yard because those are hazards <laughs> and i am tired of and i'm all it's a combination of i'm tired of straw i am i am glad i will not have to worry about a tree falling on my house in high winds and i will not have to worry about pine straw 
So yeah, it's not. That, I w I would say don't do not tell Captain Plan to go to Lorax, but yeah, that's the process. We're gonna be signing up that process, and um yeah, getting hopefully be able to start get back to writing uh the favorite games on the Steam on the Steam Deck, and finally finding time to actually play my Steam Deck. That that was that was something that I was I was having a been it was been touch and go the last couple of days. I didn't really get a chance to really tap into my steam deck but uh yeah oh and i just started watching um x-men uh x-men the animated so in prep in uh preparation for 97 so i'm watching that and yes i have and i can tell you without a without a shadow of doubt those who are talking about this series was not woke is like our bull face ass lie because I have seen people like, we don't want you mutant lo muty lovers. And I'm like, I, yeah, who who said the show ain't woke? Quote unquote woke. And uh, they need to go touch, uh, they've, they've surpassed grass. They need to touch uh, the business card of a licensed therapist. And uh, who? yeah, so yeah, show is good. Show is good as always, it eats. I think I'm a, a good chance I'm gonna be cleared of the first season. She probably like midday m Friday and probably be working on the second season. But yeah, I thought I thought maybe I thought I would be having some issues uh, watching X Men animated, but like each season is like surprisingly twelve episodes. So I'm like, oh, it's really, really not that difficult. Okay, and uh, yeah, I'm like, and I'm the fact that I'm already on. Like halfway of season one in one sitting, so yeah, I think it'll be okay. But um, yep, then yeah, so I'll probably just be uh doing that and relaxing and yard work and and whatnot, just keeping busy, and that's it. Cool. cool. Um, let's see. For me, I will also be in Raleigh up to some shenanigans and things. Um, some shenanigans and things. Some shenanigans mm -hmm. and things. Um, yeah, play through, represent Extra Life, Raleigh Durham. You know the deals. Uh, um, Sunday, though, normally I have a convention on two days, but no. I said, fuck this. Fuck this. I'm going somewhere else on Sunday. My, um, my niece is having her baby shower, and it's her birthday, so I'm going... I'm going to I'm going back home to go celebrate with her before I come back and help tear everything down at the convention um, for extra life and possibly switch Raleigh. Hopefully not. Um, then the rest of the rest of the week, I got um my first project for my job. Everything's fucking official now, by the way. I've officially been working, so um project should be um project should be done by tomorrow. Um. I turn it in on Monday and then send some people in to try to break it, see what needs to be changed. And then I get back to work again to um, fix the changes and get paid some more. That's, that's how we do all the while still waiting for my fucking driver's license to make it back. This is taking too Where'd long. Where'd it go? Well, I mean, I had to, it expired. So I had to go get a new one. I had to get a new one and I haven't seen it. And I'm concerned because it's hell, it's keeping me from making more money. Like, oh, wait, how do you like? What do you mean? So like, I can't what scan there? it into Uber. So I have a temporary driver's license, but it can't scan into Uber. Oh, so did, you go to, okay. did you have to go to the office or was yeah, it online? I had to thing? go to the office. And they said they were going to mail it to me, but it's not been here. Because it's worked just in two weeks. I feel like it's been over wanna, two weeks. I've had two I shows wanna, since then. Three shows. I want to fight people at this point because, like, how are you going to make me come all the way to the office and not send me home with a license? You I mean, me luckily, the first well, one. I, I will. I get the sentiment and it is valid, but luckily, the driver's office is like five minutes from the house, so I wasn't as inconvenienced. I do get the sentiment though. Yeah, I think. It, I think but I mean, hold on, moment. That just makes it worse because they're five minutes up the street, but it's taking them three weeks to send you a new one. But I don't. It's not coming from that office specifically. Mm -hmm. No, they don't. They don't come. They don't come from yeah. the office. They come from. They basically. They basically come from the main headquarters, wherever it is, or they may even yeah. contract out like where they make the license. 
Yeah, and then you gotta you gotta wait for it to come to the mail. I've uh, yeah, yeah, Georgia does that, and uh, yeah, because I'm not I'm not looking forward to going through that process again. But I'm gonna have to go through that process soon. Yeah, I'm not li- I'm not hyped about that. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like, I at least have a temporary license, but yeah, I don't think I can scan it into the Uber app to say, hey, I have a license. So, yeah, it's been kind of keeping me grounded for a bit, and it kind of sucks. Um, I mean, granted, I've also been busy almost every weekend, so it's not like I could have driven anyway. But, yeah, it's the fact that it, it, it's, it's the fact that knowing that I can't do it, that kind of sucks. Um, but, yeah. That's it. Um, oh yeah, I got play. I got play night and sunshine and moon and moonlight set up on my Steam Deck and on my PC, so now I can play my PC games remotely. And I am here to tell you that for people who were shitting on Saints Row, and I think I said this before because I played on Xbox for a bit when it was like a free play weekend. For people who are shitting on Saints Row, the new one. Fuck y'all. That's a good ass game. Mm -hmm. That is a good game. Also, I need to download that. Um, that Prince of Persia demo. So I can play it because it's only available on, um, Ubisoft wasn't available on steam. Also, I need to download that unicorn overlord joint. I heard it was a tactics game. Mm -hmm. I did not know that. Yes. And I want to download that demo so I can play it. Yes. And put it on my wish list and be like, one day, one day I'll play you. One day. One day. Well, on that note, it's time to say goodbye. Of course, you can reach out to all of us on our socials. Well, except for Anka. Anka, where can people find you? Because I don't know. Anka turns shit on and off every other day. I don't know where she is. That don't mean my social disappear. I just might not see it for two weeks. <laughs> Again, as far as I'm concerned, you're not on Mastodon, so you don't exist to me. I am. I just don't use it. Exa- to see, don't exist to me. Uncle probably, Uncle probably got a, a bunch of videos from me on TikTok. Me and like, <laughs> I'll send some eventually to her. I eventually watch stuff y'all send me. I just don't. It's like once every so two many. weeks. Like once every two weeks, I'll get the likes from Uncle. <laughs> yeah I just it's not that I don't want to see them I just have so much going on yeah you should prioritize like, us you should prioritize I'll- us and then everybody else you know comes after but the, I have to prioritize everybody no um, do they call you the goat said, wait a minute who made who made that rule Exactly. Nobody made that rule. I, that was that was a foolish rule. I'm See, trying for prioritizing see. myself first, and then. Right, so then we're number two. Back. Look, this is Anka and then us. <laughs> I don't. It's not difficult. You can't be exhausted after one person. True. Now after me, maybe, because <laughs> it's like all fucking Palestine and socialism all the time for me. Only recently have I been. Apparently, for the algorithm, have been putting other things. In. But see, I'll be talking about that stuff though. It's just you know, so that's not tiring to me because I'll be angry about that on a daily. That's all. That's all my This should be a breeze going through my 60, 70 stories. Because most of them, I, I listen. I listen. If I get a chance to go through it and I watch it, I most it's of the time a, I repost what you send me. It's a most lot. Most of the time, it's a lot though. I'll admit it. It's, it's a lot. It's, it's okay. A lot. I, I shout right. shout out to Sarah Soul on Instagram and TikTok. She does go through and she will like almost everything that I post on Instagram stories. It is like even I'm sitting like, you don't have to do this. Also, maybe take so take a break because Instagram will let me know. And my like, I know when she's liking it because then my watch just goes off for like a good ten minutes. Mm. I was like, "Oh God, I'm so sorry." Mm-hmm. You said in this Are all the day. For her, yes, because I know she's down. I know she's dead. It's not her that I'm trying to talk to anymore. It's everybody else now. <sighs> Anywho. 
It's Eddie Austin Aka on any social media platform that you can find her on if she is there, possibly, maybe, never. Um, <laughs> well, the rest of us, you can find our Mastodon profiles down below. Of course, you, if you would like to email us, let us know what's going down. TTZ at majorshouse.com is where you can find us. Or you can go to majors.house slash Discord. We can join the Majors House Discord. Where you can sit and talk to some of us directly. I don't hold I don't hold everybody to sit there and actively talk in my Discord. I don't. Normally I'm the only one, except for to call. I actually have a stat bot in my server, and he talks more than I do in my server. Bruh, is that how you say his name? What to cow? See, no, yep, obviously I was wrong again. No. To cow. <laughs> I've been saying it wrong for years. He never corrected me. That's correct. Nobody <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I'm, this, I'm credit. This, I'm credited um, of me saying it first, but then it was like Major called it to call, and I was like, "Well, make well to call to Cal ain't say nothing." So I was just like, "Well, let me just call him Ty to call." And then I but he's saying, dropped like, reference. He's dropped reference. He said it's like look, it's like the met. It's like the like method man. I was like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> And he said that in an episode of Tech Talk Thursdays. And it's like, nobody apparently caught it but me that he said it before. Mm -hmm. So it's like, yeah, the one time when everybody saw it, it was this whole thing. Yeah, and then it was like, oh, it's the cow. And nobody said anything before. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. I know. Um, so yeah, email the Discord, please. And of course, like, look, I don't, if you want to leave a comment, leave a comment. I don't check those places because it's on. It's like Apple and Spotify. I don't use those services uh, personally, so I don't really read the reviews. But hey, if you want to leave a five star review on the podcatcher of your choice, so that way we can get lifted up to the top. Because again, come on, look at us. We are four, mel three, sometimes four melanated smart people who are talking about gaming, tech, and streaming. One of which is holding a Rubik's cube that he can't solve. And you, there's no other show like this on the internet. I'm sorry. Like this right here, this makeup, hell no. I've seen a few and they are none like all. Especially even on the Fediverse. That's what made us even more unique. So again, five star reviews really help us. Um, share it with your friends, family, coworkers, even your enemies. Especially those enemies. We know the ones. You know the ones. You know the ones. Um, am I forgetting anything? I think that's it. Oh, if you're watching, if you're watching this um on our archives on YouTube over or at on podcast, you can catch us live every night eight o'clock p.m. Twitch.tv slash Major Linux. Of course, if you're watching us here on Twitch, you can catch the archives over YouTube.com slash Major Linux. Or go to uh, majors.house slash TTC, which will take you directly to the vid, uh, TTC vid that will take you directly to the uh, podcast playlist on YouTube. Um, I think that, um, can you provide a link? Cause I imagine that is not how that shows up on Twitch. Please huh? and thank you. Yes, I'm, I'm talking to you about a message that nobody can see. Oh, that's that's how it shows up. But there's a space in his username. No. Yeah, that's that. that there shouldn't be a space. Is there a space? Oh, it looks like one, but I see that there is not. That is on no. me. That no, is on me. Space. Okay. That there was no, not a space. Like a space. Got there's you. No space. Got you. Um. Yeah, I think that's it. I now have a raid. I've never heard of this person, but if I can rec if the go recommends the go recommends women's history month. Oh, woman in STEM. Let's go. Uh, but yeah, thank you everybody for tuning into another episode of tech talk Thursdays for March 14th, 2024. Again, thank you again, Anka, the goat for joining us this evening can you believe it she made it to the end and our end was earlier than usual also it was our fault that th that this happened 
<laughs> well, we did become a little more structured this time. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, thank you all so much for tuning in. Thank you, Anka, for joining us. Um, on behalf of Sin, on behalf of Kev, on behalf of the Gout, Idios and Anka, it's been your boy Mark Summers, Major Lennox, twitch.tv slash Major Lennox. Again, you all could have been anywhere in the world watching any stream in the world. You could have been playing, you could have been reading the tech, gaming, streaming news yourself, but you said no, no, thank you. And I don't have a reason why. Oh, no, because you like to personally invest in small streamers to make their dreams come true. You like to reinvest in those small streamers so that way they can grow because they will support other small streamers and will support each other. And all Todd's rise, all, all, the, the Todd's raise all boats and other jargon that CEOs would say about things like this. And for that, I say thank you. And all I've got left to say is I love you. Peace. Damn. What kind of forever? Guilty. <laughs>